And here we are. Hello, everyone. Hello, Microsphere. Ixer. We see Gek in the house. Le Kwawa. Nakalosa. Yeah, let me pour out some tea. Ah, there we go. Hello, Grey Wolf, Tree Stalker, Mike and Ike, Overlord Shippo. Sentient Hobo, thank you very, very much for the resub. Coming up on two years. Hot damn. Appreciate the support. Hello, Peaceful Guardian, Mayakov. I see Lighthot, Hugh Janus. We got Discard, Epic. She sends and thank you for the resub as well. Also coming up on two years. One more month. Hell yeah. Hello, Sumanai Dark, Hills of Gold. DLC announcement? I heard that there was something else in um, production related to Somnium Files, so looking forward to seeing what that is. Hello, Blue. Hello, Ren Ren. What's up, Gamaza? Oh, by the way, this is a goal stream chat. Here. It is, in fact, number 20 on our goal list, which we have cut quite a chunk into this month. But yes, uh, this is picked by one Mr. Gamaza, so shout out to Gamaza. Hello, Myth. Hello, Erdrick. All right, let's go. But yeah, I hope you all have been having a good week. Uh, I, for one, have been very, very excited to see where this goes. Hello, Spectrate. Thank you very much for the resub tier two. Hey, old boss. Hope you're doing well. Also, how'd the Chen rolls go? Uh, actually, relatively painless. A couple of blue bags, but all things Let's considered, I didn't have to break the bank. So, you know what? It works out. Also, here we go. So, that's right. We found out that there was a lady that looks like Iris in the warehouse. Because she is frozen solid, we could call her All Ice or Alice. What do you think? That's terrible, Iva. <laughs> Alice and Iris. I believe it fits nicely. All right. You got the game yourself, Myth? Hell yeah. What about her? Someone might Hello, be able Rylus. to identify her. Who? Allow me to ask you three questions. Again with this? First question. Hey, what's up, Komodo? Horn Mag, where? Where? Excuse me, Ab, I gotta pull over. You have seen this corpse more than twice. Three times, in fact. When was the first time? Hello, hex mark. First time we saw the frozen corpse. Oh, shit. I don't actually remember the timeline. Um. Saturday night? Three days ago. Saturday night when I synced to Abyss. Yes. In the Somnium world, we saw the frozen corpse of a girl. Question two. Oh! That's right! In music. In music keys! Ooh, that. I mean, that must have been Alice, because Iris couldn't have been dead at that point yet. Oh, wait, Adrian? Adrian? Adrian! <laughs> a virus? A virus? She was way too big to be a virus. Listen, I've seen some pretty big viruses in my day, Iba. Take this seriously, Date. Okamiyami, thank you very much for the resub. Here we go, time to finish. Hell yeah. Alright, it, it was Alice. Now I know. That girl was probably Alice. Most likely, yes. So we have technically known Alice for three days. One last thing. The final question. In which Somnium did we see Alice? Adrian? Adrian! Rocky! Adrian! Rocky! <laughs> but seriously, I am talking about the corpse. Do you think you should be joking at a time like this? Alright, fine. It was, um... It was Mizuki's. My roommate, Mizuki Okiura. Exactly. You mentioned something about Mizuki's Somnium being some kind of prophecy, but prophecies are nonsense. Dreams hey, are what's not up, made of the future. They are made from the past. 
Therefore... Mizuki has seen Alice before. There is no other ah. explanation. Aiba, where is Mizuki now? Where we went with Iris yesterday. The Kume Shrine. The Shrine? Why would she be there? Unknown. She is supposed to be looking for Iris. Looking for Iris. Okay, let's go. Dude, I think we have two paths left in this storyline. We have um, what's left of this path, which is um, Iris Altar. We, we have Iris B, and then we have that one route that goes fucking apeshit. I don't even know what to call it. A boss route. Did you find Iris? <laughs> Also, AOMXE, thank you very much for the resub. Time to take responsibility for, you know, no! No, never. I'll oh, never take responsibility. Anymore. Not for, not for anyone. Especially not for giant viruses. Right. You don't see any, uh, fruit of immortality? I suppose not. All right, where's Ota? I think he's searching Akihabara right now. Last time he checked in, he said he didn't have anything. Okay. Where's Renju? I think Iris is with Renju. With Daddy? Yeah. Her note mentioned her most trusted person. That's probably Renju. Yeah. I remember that mermaid girl saying something like that. It's called Annihilation Route? Holy shit. That's a name. He was looking for Iris. What happened in the other routes? Um, there's a route. Does that mean that Daddy is the one who called for Iris? There's like if you um get the second ending for Iris's left path Somnium, uh, you get some serial killer shit where like Ota and well Iris, we don't know which Iris, uh, end up cut in half. But I haven't been able to get a hold of him. All right. Now, uh, okay, so, where's Ota, where's Renju, alright, where's Rachel? Iris used to like this shrine. She told me about all her memories here. We used to come here hey, all the time. Hey, what's up, Chris? You know those steps in the front? We would sit there together and talk about things. Like, what gluten-free means, and eyelash extensions, <laughs> and aerial yoga. Aerial and yoga? We talk about all our problems together. Sometimes we would talk late into the night. So I thought that maybe she'd be here. But it looks like I was wrong. Alright, now... Where's Bin Laden? Mizuki, I have something very important to ask you. You've seen her before, haven't you? Three days ago, I saw her in your Somnium. The body of a girl who looks like Iris, Alice. Your dreams are built from your memories, so that corpse... Mizuki, please, answer me. Iris's life is at stake. Huh? What do you mean? Thing with ribbons hanging from the ceiling, huh? Yep. That's a blue figure? It looks purple to me. I need to know everything about Alice. If I find out who she is, I might be able to solve the mystery of Renju in number 89, and that might lead me to Iris. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll tell you about Alice. All right. It was about a month ago. Running on Switch? Uh, this is on PC. I saw my daddy crying in the president's office at Lemnus Gate. I was peeking through a crack in the door so he didn't see me. Daddy got up, then got into his car and drove away. I had never seen him like that before. I was curious, so I followed him in a taxi. <laughs> that led me to the cold storage warehouse. I wonder if it's the same taxi driver. He got out of his car and went inside. I followed right behind him, 
quietly. Daddy was standing next to the forklift in the back. I hid behind a shelf. I watched Daddy open the hood of the forklift, and then, after a little bit, he left. Oh, I shit. I went over to the forklift, and I looked under the hood myself, and then... You saw Alice's dead body. Okay. Time, I thought it was Iris. All right. Uh, did you talk to Renju about it? What do you mean? I couldn't just ask. It would have changed everything. I thought that as long as I stayed quiet, everything would be okay. I didn't see a dead body. I wasn't even at the warehouse. I repeated that to myself over and over and tried to forget the whole thing. Fucking hell. Repressed memories are often the subject of Somnia. That's why Alice showed up during the sink. Alright, why didn't you call the police? What was I supposed to do? Yeah, n knock on your pops. Daddy would have been in trouble. So you kept quiet this whole time? Yeah. The corpse looked exactly like Iris. <laughs> Mizuki ain't no rat. <laughs> I couldn't believe she was dead. I just couldn't. So I went to Iris' house. Huh? What's wrong, Mizuki? Ah! I thought I was going crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like what we went through. Or dreaming. I forget if that was this route or the other I route. I tried to convince myself that it was just a hallucination. Never go to seaside warehouses. I actually met Absolutely. One of the higher ups at Daddy's company last night, before I went to Matsushita Diner. Why? Because you asked about the cold storage. I was curious. I asked around some, and. I found out that Daddy was managing the warehouse before I was born. Oh. After my Daddy took over. In exchange for managing the warehouse, he gave ownership of the company to someone else. I see. So that was a red herring. The fact that he didn't own he didn't it. Want to let this place go, or maybe he couldn't let it go. That's more accurate, I think. But I understand why. Inside that warehouse was. Alice. On paper, Daddy has nothing to do with Okiura Fishery. Daddy was still managing the warehouse. And he was the only one allowed in there, too. That was part of the agreement when he gave up the company. Okay. And the whole thing had to be a secret. He really stressed that point. Huh. Hey, Mizuki, how long was he managing the warehouse? For 18 years. That's what the man told me. 18 years? From that long ago? Yes. Okay, so he was definitely around the time those killings happened. Iba, I need an emergency search. Missing persons from 18 years ago. Understood. Huh? Date, I found her. The girl who looks like Iris. What's her name? Monica Ewai. 19 years old at the time of her disappearance. Monica Uy. A graduate of a Toku High School. What? Renju was my classmate at Atoku High. Okay. We've known each other for 20 years now. When I was young, I. I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. Oh, fucking hell. Alice's... Monica. Hitomi's friend who went to the same school as her and Renju. But why? Monica's body was found just now. But even back then, Hitomi knew. She knew that Monica was already dead. Aiba, where is Hitomi right now? At headquarters for questioning. MPD still believes that the body they discovered was Iris. Got it. Contact boss. Have them bring Hitomi to a bit. Oh my god, are we gonna go into Hitomi's Somnium? Yo. Well, here's what I'm thinking, Myth. 
she was pregnant, but we didn't find the um we didn't find a baby in there. So what if the baby is Iris and he told me just adopted her? I don't know how they would have dealt with the paperwork, although, you know. Depending on how deep this goes, they may have been able to pull strings. You saw the corpse of your daughter today. You were called into the station to confirm her identity. And yet here you are, cool as a cucumber, even though you lost your precious daughter. Shall I guess why? Ah, uh, yes. Maybe this? Because that body... Yeah, there you go. That's, that's our line of attack. And you know it. Hey, what's up, Lich? What's up, Steel? Are you serious? Yes. Her name is Monica Ewai. She was killed when she was 19. She went to the same high school as you, and she was your best friend. Isn't that right? Nothing to say for yourself? Hiding something? Maybe you killed her with Renju. That's ridiculous. Oh, now you're talking. But we know Renju committed a crime. Illegally disposing of a body. And we can prove it. Yeah, it's because of, uh... Yeah, it's because of where he was found. The cold storage where... Or where she was found, rather. Was found. He, own, he managed the warehouse. Renju managed the warehouse where Monica was found. There we go. It's been managed by Renju Okiura for almost two decades now. And witness testimony proves that he knew about the corpse there. And if I'm not mistaken, you knew about the corpse too, Hitomi. You and Renju have been close since high school. It's not too much of a stretch to think that he told you about the body. And I remember you telling me once. When I was young... I... I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. How did you know that she was dead? I didn't. Don't play dumb. I know you're hiding something. You know what happened 18 years ago. And you knew she was pregnant. You were her best friend. Of course you would have known. Tell me. Tell me everything. Ah, silent treatment, huh? Guess it's Somnium time. Sync with her. Hey, what's up, Cog? You're hiding something, Fino. Date, I'm sure I've told you enough times by now, but please come back within six minutes. Hold on, Pewter. Ah, Master Dole rank. I see. Yeah. Let me do this before I get inside. Date, What's the matter, boss? You afraid I might find something I'm not supposed to? どうしてって分かってるでしょ? Larfic. ならないわよ。なるわけないじゃない。シンクレベルが臨界点を超えたら取り返しのつかないことに。なんだよ。取り返しのつかないことって。Yeah? You fucking you guys fucking know something. What's up, Peter? Yeah, what are you hiding? 別に。何も隠してなんかいませんよ。Fuck. そうか。だったら我が身を通して実験するまでだ。そうすりゃ。え、アイドンシャーク。おのずと明らかになるだろうからな。Thinking Alright, what happens after six 
確実に帰還可能な安全圏が6分以内ということで場合によっては7分だったり8分だったり細かいことはどうでもいいとにかくその臨界点とやらを超えたらどうなるんだ前に卵の話をしたこと覚えてますか No, Peter. I don't, but tell me again. 卵で例えると、自我という君だけが対象者の脳内に入り、記憶である白身の部分は、輪界点を超えると、君が元の脳内に戻れなくなってしまうんです。それは知ってる。シンク先の脳内に、ええ、でもそれだけ他人の脳に取り込まれてしまった君は、白身の方も引き寄せてしまうんですよ、oh. さらにこのことは対象者の脳内だけで起こる現象ではありません、okay. シンカーの頭の中でも同じことがつまり君と白身が両方揃って入れ替わる、oh、my God. 自我と記憶の終わりにごっそりと丸ごと交換するてこと Holy shit! Brain swapping! Are you fucking kidding me? That's what the secret was? Holy shit! Boss, you mean I could become Itomi? Alright, I'm going in, boss. データベースに載っていない情報だったからな。このシステムを悪用されたら困るからよ。Could this be done twice to reverse the negative effects? Maybe. 悪用なんてそんなこと。あなたがしなくても他のシンカーはするかもしれない。あなただけ特別扱いするわけにはいかなかったの。それに。そもそもシンクに関するプロジェクトは国家レベルの機密事項だしたとえシンカーであっても最低限の情報だけしか伝えてはいけないことになってるのだってそうでしょもしも仮にあなたが他の人間に捕まって自白剤か何かを投与されちゃったらどうなると思う This can, this can go in any number of ways. 異常者とか犯罪組織とか、国民の諜報員とか、そういう類の連中よ。その時あなたがベラベラとシンクの秘密を話してしまったら、それはもう我が国にとっての一大事ってことになるわ。So anyone could have been anyone else. わかったと思うけど。Especially people who are missing eyes. シンクシステムは単に夢の中に入れるだけの装置ってわけじゃないの。人物 A と人物 B の体をごっそり丸ごと入れ替えることができるよからぬ人間にしてみればこんなに都合のいい仕組みは存在しないだから黙ってたのなるべく秘密を拡散しないようにするためにね Yeah, I'm sure that's why, boss I totally trust you on that hey, What's up, Melo?、Uh, I've heard, I've heard things I don't know the specifics though about、uh, the next Somnium. Well, next Somnium files. Alright, while we go in. Can I get an extension, boss? Alright, but yes, to answer your question,、um, Marfic, there's a couple of classes with big mobility tools. The two that I like the most on that front are probably Dragoon and Reaper. Because they're made. Oops, hold on. Sorry, actually, I accidentally tabbed out. Like, if that's your interest, if you're interested in playing a melee that can jump around a lot, those two can do it quite a bit. Mm hmm. Yeah, let me know if you pick it up. Or let me know if you're about to make an account. I'll send you a referral code. It'll get you some,、uh, it'll get you some goods. Kamika? <laughs> oh shit, hold on. I gotta take a screen cap of this. God damn it. I don't know why it doesn't play in the background. 
おおなんと無慈悲なあ大丈夫か言っててエロ本読むか<笑>もうよす気のせいか真っ暗だなうんアイバー Don't panic but we might be in Silent Hill あの光ホタルかあら、Let's fucking go! Now, I know if I meme around too long, I'll become Yutomi. But. Uh, I got a meme. Ooh, you got to Warrior already, Komodo? Holy shit. Did you manage to make an account on Gilgamesh, or did you、uh, settle for a different Ether server? All of Ether is locked off. Yeah, it's a little hard to find time to make a, or find hours where it's not congested. You want to make up for now? I see. Kieta? Yeah, Mada Chikakuni Irunjanaika. All right. Flower bud. Hinshimadeva Hakirishinaiga Hanano Tsubomida. Worship it. Kono Tsubomini Ogamunoka. Ah, Tanum Tsubomito, a ye Hanani Teo, a serenante Maru. どういう因果かはわからないがまあ何も起こらないよりはマシかリフトアップはいあーフォーサムリーズンはワークだはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいは There's something in the distance. What is that? There's something over here. Rock number three? What makes rock number three so special? <laughs> Worship it. Tada no Iwadaga? Tada no Iwanimo, Kami wa yadotterundazo. Nihon tekina soda. E kara, yatte mi tekre. So koma de yunara. Yeah, worship the rock. Yeah. Doda. Hareaka na Dojini Munasamo, she was a tektaga. Ma Mudacha Mudana Jikandatana. Oh, my Gayuna. Let's try it again. Ah,、uh, lift it. Eh? Lift it. E cara. Wakata. Doda, Nanika meets Kataka. Nani mo Nai. All right, fine. That a coup? No, could he go for you? All right, how about rock number two? Ah,、uh, let's see. Kick it. Wakata. Oh, 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 いつも悪いな私の声が反響している
もしかすると中は深いのかもしれないな木の裏だ Alright, ah,、uh, yeah. Tackle it! Kabutomish ya Kuagata got stickery stena. Do but no tomodacho at me a game with Armaishi. Nani moch de Kunaiko. Och de Kite Hoskatanka. Kino Roda. Alright, stick your hand in. Kuareta is she neither on. Rob? Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's rock two, that's hole in tree two. Oh, it's Renju! Dude, he looks like he's trying to cosplay as Steve Jobs or something. Mmm. Hit him! This この頃のオキウラに水木の話をしても無駄か。オキウラレン。うーん。Alright, talk to him. おいオキウラ、こんなところで何してる？ここで。Hey, これではオキウラレンジを感じないか。Who the hell is Steve Jobs? オキウラ。Alright, uh, flirt with him. オキウラ。私をめちゃくちゃにしたいだろう。さあ、バチカーイ。こ<笑>いって。すまん。俺の指示が悪かった。謝るな。悪いのは、おきうらの趣味の方だ。おきうら連中。インスペクトム。水分若いが。おきうら連中で間違いない。おそらく。20年ぐらい前の姿だなここはそんなに昔の All right. so he's useless. 3分を切ったわよ、伊達くん岩だはあ。Fuck, what do they want from me? Investigate it. これ自体はただの岩だが They didn't need to like Make some noise to draw him around. Yeah, so come on. Yeah, I don't know. Shit. Oh, yeah, let's try this. Kino Roda, Saka Bolu Kriner. しまっておけそうだな。おお、maybe we could scream in there。王様は裸だー。頭に錠をつけて。女王様は裸だー。素晴らしい国だ。移住しよう。何もなさそうだな。うむ。<笑>木の裏だ。Okay, you know what? Uh, stick your hand in. Mata suikomareta is she neither on. Oh, Cassina, Conna has deva. What does she got suikomareta to Koroga Mitaika? Mitai Kino Roda. All right, peek inside. I see, so hole in tree number two might be a dead end. But you know what? Just in case it isn't, let's tackle that shit. Oh! Something fell. 
これは瞳と沖浦と真中の写真だ全員若いな持っておいてくれはあ Oh, maybe I could show him the photo or something? Hey, idiot! <laughs> so you can't hear her! What? Where are you going? It's just fucking bolted. Oh. Nanda Konana. Saki Madeva. Nakatayama. Can't believe Bugs Bunny's the killer. Alright, uh, jump in. Hontoni Yarnoka. Ah, Tanum. Scatanai. Oh, yep. Oh. Okay, so it is the right place. That's a rock. Oh. What the fuck are you doing? Hey. Hey! Tommy! <laughs> you fucking idiot! Alright, uh... You know what? Let's try hole in tree number three. Capybara could I not hide it so than I try kick cool, okay, get on scream. Stummy, 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 so this is the 3D version of Majora's Mask. I remember it starting differently than this. Oh, you know, I'll get turned into a scrub soon enough. Although... I but does look... Perhaps a little scrub-like. Hmm... Touch her. Oh... Touch her weird, excessively aliased hair. Oh. 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 うん。うん。貴重な情報の提供、感謝します。お疲れ様でした。おっさんめ。瞳。Oh boy, our time is critically low. もう時間がないわ。Talk to her. おい、瞳。こんなところで何してる? ダメだな。何か探してるようだが。うん。瞳。you know what? Hug her. <laughs> Thank you, Aiba. This was essential information. <laughs> he actually said it. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> Off we fucking go. Alright, here, let's restart.
This will give us the uh, skip option. Oh, we get to see this again. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, nice. Worship it. Alright, hole in tree number one. Uh, let's see. Stick your hand in. Alright, hole in tree number two. Uh, tackle it. Dateku? Alright, Renju. Show the picture. Okay, that's the hole. Jump in. Right, so you gotta find a hole in tree number three. Fuck, I'm losing my way. Whoa, what is this? Nanda. What? Whoa, oh, what? Okay. Never seen that before. I mean, that was an Iba. Alright, scream. Here, now let me make a save here. There's one in each Somnium, I see. I wonder what they're for. Alright, uh, let's see. I gotta find Itomi. There she is. Yo, Itomi. Itomi. Uh, inspect Hitomi. Sagan Hitomi da. Okiura to Najiku. Niju Nengura minus Sugata to Moadir. Yapari. Kono Jikini Nanika ga atanda. Oh, it's our concept art, I see. Okay, you got something in this rock, maybe? You know what? Uh, check the rock. Huma. Korejitai wa tada no Iwadaga. なんか法則はあるかいや、そこまでは。うん。岩だ。あ、キックイット。わかった。はは、ありがとうございます。あ、足が痛い。そうか。足が痛い。すまん。あ、ネバーマインド。This <笑> Oh, fuck. So there's Hitomi, there's a rock. Actually. Oh, I've see already seen rock three. We need to shake something. Rock one? Iwada. Huh. You know, let me head back to Rock 3. Maybe I could lift it. It's either the tree again or one of the rocks by the look of it. I mean, that's a small rock. Maybe we could lift it. Damn it. Iwada. Uh, worship it. Okay, never mind. We've already done this. So, Rock 2 is a dud. 
Here, let's try the last option with the tree. Uh, we could either mess with rock three, which is a pretty big rock. Or we could mess with the tree. God, there's a lot of ways to lose time in this one, huh? Okay, uh, you know what? Tackle it. Alright. Uh, stick your hand in. Oh wait, haven't we already done this one? Or is that the soccer ball sized one? Oh, there's actually something in here! Oh, that's an interesting looking bracelet. Yeah, let's show it to you, Tommy. Okay, so note to self, stop fucking with rocks. Show the bracelet. Oh, alright. Bye. <laughs> Tommy, she is shook. Where the fuck did she go? Fuck. All right, hold on. Here. Oh. Yeah, let's return to lock two. Now that we know to just go straight to the tree. Fucking tree. Oh wait, hold on. There we go, God. Okay. Are they really not going to let me see which one's which? Alright, whatever. Alright, uh, first of all, scream. Alright, now stick your hand in. Dude, if, if they make me lift rocks eventually, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> Alright. Yo, Hitomi. Here, check out this cool bracelet. Stop! Thief! Let's see, between the tree and the rock and then towards the left is where she ran off to. Between the tree and the rock. And then towards- oh, there's hole two. Alright, let's go. Jump in! Wee! I can't see shit, Captain. 
今どうなっているこっちが聞きたいくらいだまっなるほど私の故障ではないわけか手探りで動くことはできるかああ試してみよう Alright Let's make a save If I were a little savvier, I could interact with some of the random shit. Oh! Nanda. So I can accumulate a bit of time in advance. Cluster Amaryllis! Higamba Nada. Oh! Uh, you know what? Worship it! ないそっちの方が自然なんだが謎の学科理感があるな彼岸花だ。ディグアップ。あ、やってみよう。急ぎなさい。な、なんだ。オッケー。あ、well、I <笑><笑> Jump, jump! 120 seconds, holy shit! Yeah, I need to come back, or I need to come in with some uh, time saves if this isn't the last thing. Well, I think we're good. Corpse flower. Hitomi san, hold on a second. You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. Uh -huh. and my guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. All right, finally. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you, and especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. He must be panicking. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? 
It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. Don't you see how that looks? He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to... deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. Oh boy, well he's gonna cause some trouble for you. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. It's a GPS transmitter. Oh, uh, that's how they found her. Just to be extra safe. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened. And it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Renju or I saw it happen. So I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. Killer. Dante, you said that Monica was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Monica was killed by Saito Sejima. Saito Sejima. So and his late wife. Saito was 12 at the time. Oh, okay. Yes. But why would a little boy do that? Yeah, if what we know from the Mizuki route is true, that's us. I don't know. I can't imagine. Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. Fucking hell. He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yes, with some of his men. Mm. Again. Neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her cell, but it didn't connect. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so Renju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Mm. Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. We could only watch as it all unfolded. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast before long. We good here? Yeah, cover her. Just a minute. Uh. 
Oh, he he took the eye out. Jesus. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What? We saw. <laughs> Monica! Monica! <laughs> we need to... We need to call the police. No, we can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. And then... They'd come for us. They'd make it look like we disappeared. All of us would be... Gone. Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Fuck. Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. We cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. Hmm. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it, but it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Monica, don't worry about the baby. So here's my question. I'll protect in the you Annihilation the route, was it Iris that got cut in half? And don't worry about them, either. Or did they just dig up the people who did this to you? Monica's body? Although, I, I mean, the implication is that So Sejima is the one in the bear costume. And I'm he sorry. wouldn't have known about Monica. So it's, it's quite likely that sorry. they... I'm sorry. That the corpse was still in the forklift. Monica. Fuck. Oh. Tell me's perspective, huh? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate. Ah, that's how they got her papers. Book. Okay. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. Be sure to raise her responsibly. 
I'll help. Is Renji talking from experience there? I think he might be. I forget if Mizuki was... No, no, no. This is way too... This is way too early. Mizuki wasn't even born yet. So never mind. I don't really want to discuss this, but... There's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never... So? His son? Or the Kumakuras? I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <clears throat> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay? Ooh. I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology? And the colored part of your eye? And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that, it's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica... Roger, could you use some of his own advice? advice? Yeah, probably. For I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Yeah. I really like it. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take 10 seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never... Eventually, my desire for revenge just... Faded away. Hmm. Mama, Mama, woof, woof. Mama, I'm wet. I'm wet. Sweepy, up. Mommy, I won race today. Is Mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. No, no Milky Moon allowed in this household. Only Milky Homes. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! <laughs> mommy, why do you have no friends? <laughs> mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um... Both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too! Hey, Mommy? Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? 
I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, Sol would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean... Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. So, in a couple of the other routes, I didn't want to lose Iris this. goes to see So. Which leads me to believe but. that she knows something. Whether she knows the whole deal or if she was just investigating is cool. unclear so far, but I guess we're going to find out. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. Have you tried the Fruit of Immortality? But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. Nanomachines. Nanomachines could Aww. remove the tumor, but the procedure would be so expensive. With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Mm. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Sejima. Oh. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything. Hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived... He walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased, seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. I know what happened 18 years ago. Everything. I know who did it, and I know she had a baby inside her. You can probably guess what I'm going to say next. Be prepared to pay for my silence. I will tell you the exact amount later. And don't tell anyone about this. Not Saito. Not the Kumakuras. If you do anything even remotely suspect, I will go to the press with the truth. Understand? I told him to keep quiet and cut ties with the Kumakuras. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. Yeah, he never got around to that. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. I came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. Oh, we walked in! We were tailing him. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me. And when you were done looking around.
It'd be really funny if we could go back to that scene and walk behind the forklift to see just Hitomi <laughs> hiding there. <laughs> Iris. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter, but Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. Hmm. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it! <sighs> Fucking hell. All right. Do you know why Rohan took her eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Huh. All right. Did you tell Renju? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Mm. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. All right. There are still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nadami. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. We can think about it later. More importantly, yeah, Shoko definitely had the other machine used on her. Wait. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. Oh, okay. What do you know? At around 4 o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. Okay. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. With me? Oh, shit. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? Oh, my God. What if? I'm sorry, but this stops now. Uh, all right, Pewter. Two routes in a row, huh? Oh, no. Date. Run. 
Boss! Holy shit! Please do not worry. Pewter, what the fuck? This is two routes in a row! Really put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. The boss was going against orders? Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? Oh. But her case is all completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. So Sejima. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation, as of five minutes ago. In fact, you are to be placed under house arrest. <sighs> what will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iva, can you turn the power off? Easily. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Suck it, Pewter! You fucking rat! Now tell me, where is the location? I can't tell you. Why not? If I tell What you about the problem with those you? mobile suits? Thank you for the 50 bits, Blue. Into the locker, you fucking nerd. But if I don't go with you... All right, take me there. Okay. Although that scene... suggested something very strange. So Pewter obeys the, the higher-ups. But the boss doesn't. But the boss is clearly off the fucking reservation in that I other route. Place. So what the fuck is the boss up to? It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. Oh no, she's sus. She's just playing for a, a different team than I thought. Is what I'm getting out of this. Date, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data. Everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter? Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. Alright, let's go back and pop him some. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I have four hours at the most. After my ice is broken, Pewter will be able to access Wadget, my core programming. He would be able to destroy my mind. Why? It must be related to the orders they are receiving from the talk. The higher-ups clearly see you as a threat, Dante. They are attempting to limit your power by removing me from the equation. I suppose their motivation hardly matters now. The most important thing now is finding Iris and bringing her to Abyss within four hours. Or else, Bio, I will cease to exist. Wow, okay, so we're on a hard timer now. Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Just... Alright, now you know. So get moving. I'm counting on you, Date. God, we should have broken both of his arms. And his legs. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Yo, you told me you got a gun? No, wait, this is Japan. What am I asking? Is that... Uh-oh. Oh, fuck! Oh, Are he's you? been dead a while. But why, though?
The case remains unsolved. Wait, oh, is this a lock? Oh, so now we have to head back to the annihilation route? Yeah, it's, it's a lock. Okay. So there... There's another path we could take. Yes! Okay. There we go. Okay, so this is the route where the boss goes and kills Sosajima, and we find this out. All right, let's go. Sosajima. Thanks for the resub, Mike, and I- Oh, fuck. Hey! Why? Two years, Mike. Thank you very much. Why? The time out? No kidding. Yeah, grass are reaching Black Gang. Boss? What's going on here? Why did Boss kill So? Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. All right, what's Boss's alibi for Renju's murder? What about murder? Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. What about Iris and Ota? Iris and Ota were killed at different times. I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss uh... PC from a warehouse and made the call. Fucking hell. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. So also had his left eye removed. Identity That's the warehouse. Shoko, That's Reggie, the warehouse. Iris. So she knows where that is. Date, I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. Where? She is now at the Sagan residence. Somewhere inside Hitomi's house. Oh, fuck. What? Uh, we gotta go. It told me. It told me. I got call boss's phone. On it. Name Date, you were under arrest for murder. What the hell? For murder? Drop your weapon, comply. I don't think I can red dead my way out of. Oh, it's the fucking boss. Boss. Oh boy. I didn't kill anyone! I didn't kill anyone. Please believe me. They are not listening to you. Oh boy. Oh fucking boy. 
Boss, what the fuck are you doing? I could ask you the same thing. You killed Shoko Nadami, didn't you? That's ridiculous. What are you talking about? Don't lie. Oh, framing me, oh. huh? I don't know. She was gone when I got here. Why did you come here? Why would I tell you? <sighs> are you kidding me? You're the new Cyclops killer. What? Why do you think that? You put a gun to So's head and pulled the trigger. I saw it with my own eye. Shut up! Shut up! Stop lying! Oh my god, dude. She's going ballistic. Fight! This is going nowhere. Are you going to fight? I have no choice. I recommend against it. You have zero chance of winning a firefight. Well then, what can I do? Let me think. Date, what Format is that time. The table? Could it be your favorite thing? What? The magazine. You want me to look at a magazine now? Just look. It can't be. This is the stuff of legends. Only the most diehard fans have ever laid eyes on it. What's it doing here? Yeah! <laughs> no! Limited edition. Oh. <sighs> Fucking hell. What? Dante, load evolver with firebomb bullets. Shoot at the cloud. Why? Oh, we're gonna set it on fire! We're gonna make a dust explosion! I guess it doesn't really matter where we shoot it, does it? Uh. Uh. Oh shit! Now you're all fucking lobsters. Oh, good thing he told me he's big on fireproof furniture. Horny housewives in heat. Is that what that achievement says? Her right shoulder and left leg suffered damage, but she will live. A dust explosion, huh? Good thinking. Thank you. But you could have just had me throw the bag of flour. Now the question is, who bought that? That would have been too slow. To improve your reaction time, I had to improvise. Mm-hmm. Anyway, nice. let's have a look. <laughs> hey, this is just a cooking magazine. Ah, uh, we've been duped! It wasn't porn at all! Boss is still unconscious. Oh, oh my god, we're gonna go into Boss's head? Yo! Yay, Boss! You set me up. You fuck. Yo, Peter, where's eighty-nine? So this. Hypothetically, we don't actually need Pewter for this. We could have Iba run it, which is what we did that one time. Yeah, 
このままシンクできますよ。Are you so cooperative? そりゃそうですよ。ボスは敵だと分かったんですから。So, okay, so we know Pewter is working for the higher ups, or he's loyal to the higher ups. So, boss is off the fucking reservation. データには加工した痕跡は見当たりませんでした。つまり、ボスがセジマを撃ち殺したのは間違いないってことです。左目をくり抜いてね。すると、他の4人をやったのも。ボスである可能性が高いってことになりますあるいは共犯者がいるのかもしれませんが泥道黒であることに変わりはない僕が協力的なのはだからですよ僕だって知りたいんです伊達さんと同じように真相をはい Let's go ピューターそっちの準備はどうだいつでも OK です。よし。それじゃあ始めよう。伊達さん。Since the death of Soap puts the investigation。分かってる。That Pewter needs you not to solve on a complete dead end。それまでに必ず戻ってくる。Maybe we can trust him. Maybe. Maybe in this route. じゃあ行きますよ。All right, let's see what's going on in your head, boss. Fairies and unicorns? Oh. Oh, it's the front area of that warehouse. <laughs> God damn it. That's what. Listen, that's why the barrel was so heavy! So you told you, Shinaka, can I keep my Nanoka? Do you come up here? They were. Conna Tokini. Conna Toki Dakara Koso, what does you owe my own? Tokoro de Cocoa, High Cojo no Yodaga. Boss no Yatsu, eat a nanio cacusterunda. Wow, this is gonna be a thing. So when you must can't kiss it. All right, we're in the boss's head, Quawar. Through the power of a porno magazine that wasn't actually a porno magazine, we fucking knocked the boss out. And now we're in her head. Wow. Alright, what's in door A? Open it. What? I should interact with that anyway on a on a redo, because that gives me a ton of time off for one second. So that's well worth. All right, door one. Sabita, Kinzok Tobira. Hmm. Break the lock with the pick? Yeah, do it. So did Joe Kuasunda. Wagata, Tamestemio. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there goes Shoko. The ice pick. Kagi got Taksan who ticked us all. So no knock on the Stotzga, Tadashi, Kagitoka, and Janaka. Saga Sanaka, can I know? Nanika Mezir Shigar to Ina. So the na. Oh. 
Holy shit! I mean, I think it's key number one. Wow. Honestly, it might be worth if we do it again. We open the door first, then check door A. Because that'll blow, that'll pop the ten times. On door, like on a one second check. お礼を褒めてくれ。ええの何かに使えそうだな。オープン。さっき拾った鍵が使えるんじゃないか。ああ、試してみてくれ。開いたぞ。I do wonder if it'll give us the uh, time reduction thing. If we pick up the key before we check it. Oh, Dory takes us to floor three. Um. Oh, there we go. All right. B to kakareta door da. Hmm. Tackle it. Alright. I don't know. So Oh, it worked. Hey. Hmm. Nikai no yo da ga. Akiraka ni ima keta doa no saki dewa nai na. Maru de meiro da. Doa doshi no taiyo wo yoku oboete oko. So there's nothing in this corner at the second floor. So let's check door C. All right, tackle it. Okay. There's the second lock. That shoe. Rack? Huh. There's a drum there and a door D. I don't think the door D actually take goes anywhere. Because though there are two of them facing each other. Okay. Whoa! What on earth? Slide in the gap? Thank you for the resub, Chris. Wow, two whole years. Hope you enjoy the rest of Somnium Files. We play the sequel. Oh, I'm interested in the sequel, all right. Very much so after playing this. This is a great game. One of the best ones I've played in recent memory. Here, you know what? Just in case... Alright. Alright. <laughs> Just look at, look at her over there. <laughs> yeah, work that ass. <laughs> work it, Iba, work it.
Work your body, work, work your body. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> oh no. That was funny as hell though. You know what? Worth. Absolutely worth. Kagida. Kono Kagida kid. Oh, I should have restarted. Because that would have let me skip this. I didn't realize it would send me this far back. Oh well. If we have a reason to, I can start from the very beginning. Because I know the sequence. Uh. Oh shit. B to Kakarita. All right. Tackle it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I could have used that one second one on the uh, 999 option, huh? Probably would have been the uh, smart option. Tackle it. Oh, that's it. Alright. Alright, this time let's try... Well, we gotta do deal with the wire somehow. Oh. Okay, so we got a steel drum. We have a door E. Uh, investigate it. Yeah, that goes over there, all right. Oh, if we roll the drum up, maybe we could lift it. I mean, I can't imagine what could be in the drum to make it heavy enough to lift it. What did you miss? You missed Aiba twerking for 999 seconds and failing the mission. Alright, push it. Yeah, it does work! That's absolutely gonna fall on us, but you know what? That's. That's a risk I'm willing to take on Iba's behalf. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? Hold that thought. Shit. Ah, oh, okay. Let's see if we can find a one second modifier. Because we don't know where. Well, we, we have, I have a pretty good idea of where door D goes, but E may take us somewhere we can get one. No, E takes us fucking nowhere. And I'm guessing D is just going to take us in a full circle. Wow, okay. That's that's insidious, holy shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice, nice, nice. 
Okay, so sit on the one second modifiers. Oh. oh my god. Can't believe it! He's strangling Renju. Not gonna lie from a distance, I thought it was uh between the smoke coming out and the tubes. I thought it was being strangled with a bong. Oh, there's his Rolex. Broken ass Rolex. Oh shit! I don't actually remember what time it was. Hold on. I don't remember. I don't remember the time uh, it's supposed to be. Shit! Oh, where's my case files? Hold on. I can figure this out. Renju. Find his watch. Hold on. I should be able to find something here. I mean, I could always just trial and error it, but I'd rather not do that. When I could use my brain. Unfortunately, uh, fucking genius over here doesn't actually organize his case files in alphabetical order. So I can't look at the time that's supposed to- oh! Oh, never mind, that's Sunfish Pocket. I can't look at the time that's supposed to be on his watch. Wrong one on purpose? You know what? Fair enough. Kagida. <laughs> It's five o'clock in the morning. Okay, that's ten seconds. Alright, let's pick it up. これじゃないな。時計の時刻は関係ないのか。そんな単純な仕掛けでいいと思ってるのか。そう思わせておいて、逆にという可能性も確かに。God, I should have written the time down. Fucking hell. Kagida, Tonari ni Tokego Karateru, Toke no Hariwa, Juichios. Pick it up. Kore de Monaina. It's a booby prize. Tokokoni Imiga Arutoste, Nanika, Kanen no Arizona Monoa. O Kura ni Kansuru Kotoka. Alright. Alright. Pick it up. It's also a booby prize! What's the correct fucking time? There's 2.50 and then there's... 8? Maybe 8. Alright. Uh... Yeah, pick it up. There we go, okay. So it's 8 o'clock, that was correct. Oh, his time of death! 8 o'clock was his time of death. Alright, yeah, just open it. Ah,もちろんだ。開いたぞ。Hmm. 
Mmm. That door is frozen, so maybe we're gonna see what happened to Ota and Iris. Well, I mean, we know what happened, but you know what I mean. Control panel. Door three and pipe. <laughs> Yo, I'm a smell the pipe. Alright. Cover it. With your ass. Oh. Huh. You know what? Kick it. Oh! Hell yeah. Now I really want to know what that control panel does. Yeah. Curious. Monitor ya bota. Ah, never mind. It's all Greek to me. All right, hold on. Wow, this is this Sonium is going places. Sabita kinzok tobi da. All right, open it. Kore nara akerare so da. Um, uh, wreck, bisect, a set. Kagida Taguni Segyotak to Kaitar Segyotaku Sugu Sok. Okay. モニターやボタンが並んでいるが。あ、インベスティゲイテッド。だいぶ古いものだな。この工場の電気系統を制御するための。コンピューターだろうが。鍵がなければ起動できそうにない。モニターやボタン。インサートキー。え。お。で。な
All right, now rotate the key again. Wow, science is great. これで別のルートに行けるようになったぞ。B の扉の近くのようだ。so we use the D door. Okay, so D door and then around second floor. D door around the second floor, up A door. I'm sorry, C door. Okay, so D door then C door. Okay. Oh yeah, we just head down here. That'll do it. Uh, you know what? Open it. And you start using my other time saves. God, how close are we to wrapping this? I'm a little concerned about my remaining time. Okay, we have the final lock remaining. Okay. And we have a one second time that we can use. So that'll make sure we can get to the end. If we get that far. Alright, so we used a one tenth. Maybe a little um, wasteful, but I don't know how many chances I'm going to have to save time here. Okay, so then we go up B door? No, wait. No, yeah, we go up B door. B dash no door. Alright. So we open B door. Okay, good. Now we have access to that route. So let me just do this real quick. Just think if there's enough wiggle room for me to scum this, I think I'll consider it. If it comes down to it, it'll save us a little bit of time. Alright. F door. Okay. Tackle it. あの大きな扉。あの中を見ることができれば何かわかるはずだ。Alright. Oh, there's a ladder. And a cord. 電源コードだ。Alright, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Get shocked. だて、お前とも長い中だ。冗談だということはわかるが、そろそろ時と場を選ぶ配慮を身につけたらどうだ。ガチ説教。返事は？はい。Oh man, I use the time anyway. All right, uh, we're running out of time. You know what? Kick it. Hmm. Tashkani. Sakki no joki mita ni muki o kaitara. Sakki no yona tenkai ni wa nara nai na. Ah. Okay. So you know what? I'm going to investigate the ladder this time. Here. If it lets me back into the main menu, I'll load right back in there. Unfortunately, it doesn't let me load an arbitrary point, which is a little obnoxious.
I mean, I guess they thought the checkpoints would do it. Yes, I get it. Alright, so let's check the ladder this time. I don't think investigating it's going to solve anything. Okay. Climb. What the fuck? Sulinuketo. Sumari. Nobora Serukiwa Naito. Tetsuno Hashugoda. All right. Lift it. So we can't climb it, we can't lift it. We can try tackling it, and we can try investigating that other thing. Well. Alright, that's another mission failed. There's two potential options remaining. At this point, I actually don't know whether it's faster to load the save, or to load the, uh... To load the save like this, or to like just go back to the previous checkpoint, because we'd have to go through a bunch of doors. This may be slightly faster. Probably the fastest thing we could do if we were willing to sink the time into it is just redo it, and then use the speed up option to save a bunch of time. All right. Ladder. Tackle it. Ikuzo. <gasps> what the fuck? Yay! Okay, we're good, we're good. We got out. No, it's okay. Cutscenes are a free action. Whoa! Renju killed Shoko. Who killed Ren? Iris killed Ren! Oh my god. Renju killed Shoko. Iris killed Renju. So killed I. Oh. Yeah, so killed Iris. Well, we know that because of the bear costume. And boss killed so. What the fuck? Everyone was killed by a different person? Is this real? Or is she fucking with us? Date, Nani, we are theater. Lopin, Tatazo. 
待て瞳がこれ以上は無理です伊達さん強制遮断しますくそー No, I will become the boss. Fucking hell. Wow. Oh my god, yeah, what if? What if they're intentionally body swapping? And then killing off the previous occupant in a different body? <laughs> Ota doesn't count! Who gives a fuck about Ota? There's four victims plus one. Okura Renju Sagan Iris. Ah, that's right, language, sure. And so Sejima, who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris' body, but who shot So? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. That's how it looks on the surface, anyway. But... Well, here's the problem. They couldn't have been... It, wait, the swapping chain doesn't make sense. Because Boss still has her eye, unless it's fake. So as far as we know, the boss we know killed So. That's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. One person. And that person is... Who is the new Cyclops killer? Here, let me say before I embarrass myself. That's true, the new Somnia machine doesn't take the eye, but here's my thinking, Quawar. Boss wouldn't be able to use that and get it past Pewter. And presume I'm a, I'm gonna assume that it's for the for the purposes of this uh, hypothesis that it's not in Pewter's interest to enable the new Cyclops killer. Who is the new Cyclops killer? Ah, uh, it's you. Yes, you, the person in front of me right now. You're blaming the commander of Abyss for this? No, not boss. The person inside boss's head. Oh! Can you at least try to make sense? Oh, okay. So that's where we're going. We are going this way with it. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded, switched. I don't know where it started, but at some point you got into Shoko's brain. Then you got into Renju's and got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cult storage warehouse. Now, you're in Boss's body, inside her head. I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. 
I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. Uh, all right. Yeah, who was inside Iris during, during Sunday's interrogation? That was me. You imitate her well. From the way you talked to your body hell. language, it was like the real Iris. Earlier, too, you almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite, the one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% uh. to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. Okay. Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Sejima. Oh my god. Congressman Sejima's son. What? I researched Saito thoroughly. Wait, if you're a Saito, who the fuck are we? But I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? And not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. Why is that? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate uh, the Oh, okay, so that's how they explain us carrying information from different routes, is that we knew this stuff from the beginning. We just forgot it. Pieces of memories are like roots that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly, taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from <laughs> Try a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. Yeah. Holy shit. Parallel worlds exist. Oh, I'm telling my. you. It was me. All right, boss. <laughs> Fucking God, look at boss. Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. So that's why the Iris Somnium on the left side route is so different from the right side, right side route. By that point in the... Oh my god! Wait a fucking second! The Iris that survived in that one route. That's Saito! What's going on here? It could be. Fine. I still have time. Oh well, I was so ah. Oh, never mind. Time. You'll see. So, 
Where do you want me to start? Fucking hell, that's also really fucking weird. All right, day one. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced, switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car using the old abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8 p.m. by the time I was finished. The boss at the end of Oto's route was actually Saito. Fucking hell. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Nile message to Mizuki. Uh... Then, I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5 p.m., and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. Fucking hell. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7 p.m. when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I'd prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiba, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked oh. me something about being able to drive. He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him, but... I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renji's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. Uh... And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Oh boy. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am of course referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job, and when I left, I ran into you, Date. Now it's on day three. To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So. Of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Then you sinked into my mind. Mmm. So we saw all the killings, right? Yeah. 
Uh, that, uh, that's the shot. That is the money shot. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? As a result, you had no choice but to release me. I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. You passed out when Iva was dancing a shelf away. Um, so we found out that the boss is actually Saito Sejima. And he's been using Sync to swap bodies repeatedly throughout the course of the game. And that has all sorts of implications for the other make routes. It difficult to sneak out at night. And boss is currently... Oh, who, a boss presumably got put into Sejima's body, so Sejima's body, and then killed. So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him, so I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. Yeah, because everyone is in a body one chain back. Oh, that's why oh, Iris is... That's why Iris was acting so fucking weird in the left side route. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. It's because when it was, was Saito gone, calling the shots. I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes. The Sejima residence. Hmm, of course I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, father. It's been a long time. Fucking hell. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom oh. and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed and got into the van with That's me. That's right, because she looks like... She looks like her mother. And so Sejima... Yeah, 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 okay. We arrived at the prototype sync machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosejima, it was a new day. Uh-huh. Holy shit. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location, Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, you saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Holy fuck. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss. You might not know this, but she and my father go back about six years. The two shared a terrible secret. What? I that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. I injected her with a sedative. Holy shit. Then brought her body to the chemical plant. I synced with her, exchanged our bodies, and after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. Oh! I stuffed the meat huh. in the face I'd brought earlier, then drove. Who <laughs> would have fucked the fucking Mizuki route? Would have the best, well, would have the uh, closest thing to a happy ending so far. 
That's right. Take out your victim's eyes. You know all about the prototype sync machine, don't you? That should explain it. Oh, that's why she's in a coma. We never got to see. That's right. Okay, so we would have known that something was up if she had actually come out of the coma during that. Huh. Wait. Okay. Oh, I see. So you have the option of just shoving it back in. Yeah, but why'd you rip them out? Of course, I don't really care about eyes. Yeah, that was more of uh, what's his face's thing. All I cared about was exchanging bodies. I see. So that's why he just ripped them out of his uh, the bodies he was gonna get rid of. Cause it doesn't matter at that point. Whether they have them or not. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Okay, where'd you put them all? Shoko's is in Renju. Renju's is an iris. What the fuck? Why'd you do that? Iris's is in dad. You fucking lunatic. Dad's is in boss. Oh, you ate it? You fucking... You ate it while you were still the in the stump, body? I mean... You sick bastard. Yes, I ate them. Fucking nasty. Immediately after exchanging personalities. Immediately? Why would you fuck? All right. <laughs> Why though? Homicide is my hobby. <laughs> I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. That's it's me? Personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. Fuck, revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me. You know, traveling through bodies to finally reach the end. That's the thing about traveling. You always wind up in the same place, don't you? Where do you think that is? Your home. A trip is only complete once you return home. The same is that true, Ixer? I don't remember that. When I return home, my travels will come to an end. So I'll be needing it back. My body. What? No, it's mine. You stole my body. You took it from me six years ago. That's why I want revenge. What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. Oh! That's right! When he switches bodies, their physical brains aren't wired like his original one, so he doesn't get off on killing people. 
Not to the same degree. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. So hypothetically, if Dante started offing people, he'd feel real good. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. What the fuck? You can have a normal hobby now. Ah, get a so get a life. My old body. How are you finding it, Date? That's what I've been telling you. But I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. Oh, that's what the drugs are for. They know. Oh my God, the people here know. Well, we, I, I suspected as much, but that's why they've been giving us the drugs. That's for, that's the oxytocin. That is because I regularly supplement it. They must have increased your dosage too much. And that's why we no, act like a freak. <laughs> the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. That is what I believed as well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned, only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. What? So that's what... Oh my god. That must be it. Are we Falco? Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. Pewter must have known that. No way. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. And before so? Iris. And before that, Renju. And before that, and before Shoko. Before that, Shoko. Then who swapped in a Sho- Well, yeah, ex okay. And before Shoko? Yeah, whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Last year, inside Rohan's brain. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. Rohan? They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. Oh my god! Wait a fucking second. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time, slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. Yeah, when she saw herself in the mirror, she... Oh, that's why Rohan committed suicide! She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan, using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. So that's why all those people... That's why I know everything about you. Okay, so that's why Shoko knew us. Okay. In there. In that body you are operating right now. In that skull. My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. In other words... That's... my real? Oh, I don't want that body back. Wow. Oh. 
Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. You can't have it. Simple. Sink with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <laughs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! Oh, shit! Really? Fucking dynamite? Damn you! If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Pewter, contact headquarters, now! Got it! Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Gonna be a little less crazy! <laughs> what a bit noise to get. I give her the 50 bits, Wasp. Where's the train? No, fuck you. Date, I'm hurt. I like this body. Don't you care about what happens to her? No, fuck you. Do you understand the gravity of this situation? A bomb is strapped to her body. No. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold-hearted. Listen, I have a fucking... I have a serotonin deficiency. When her flesh burns and tears and scatters. Don't do it. If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. No, you fuck you. You are not bluffing, don't you? No, you're stuck in that body. Oh, well. Beep, 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 beep. Be good at the... La 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 I I A. Thank you for the 50 bit Super Austin. She's Saito, he's Saito, she's Saito, he's Saito, she's Saito, you're Saito, I'm Saito. And the other Saitos I need to know about? Oh. Oh, we fucking, we blew Boss's head off. Uh, you know what? Sure. One for the road. Bad end. It's okay, though. I made a save because I, I had a feeling. Holy shit. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. I thought a new, I thought new nodes opened up. All right. So we still have two routes to finish exploring. I don't know. Well, probably they won't actually tell us until they're uh, released. They'll do what Rohan did. All right, fine, I'll do it. Date. See, I knew you wouldn't refuse. I know you well, don't I, Date? <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right. I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. Yeah, we didn't keep our... Yeah. However, it might be too late by now. Yeah, we didn't give him our gun, did we? What? Oh, what the hell? It blew up anyway! Why? Why? 
Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! You're the one who injured that body. It's your own fault, really. Damn it. Be seeing you. You know you're not walking out of here alive, right? Yeah. Date, are you all right? Well, uh, I'm I'm feeling kind of fucked right now. Everyone's dead. Holy shit. I couldn't do anything. The flesh remains, the mind Sometimes is lost. I right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. Oh. <laughs> I've had a better future. Well, it's not the self-destruct. The self-destruct. Remember, Pewter showed us that one feature where he could use Iba to just shock the shit out of us. That's what Iba just did. Oh my god. Fucking hell, all right. So there is either one route left or two route left. There's one on the map that's still visible. But here's what I'm thinking. Either the rest of the right, right side route is the final route, or there is another true route, which sometimes games like this do. So we'll see, we'll see which is which. Yeah, I can see why it's called the Annihilation Route. Oh god, that's a fuck timeline. Everyone ex is dead except Aiba and Date in Boss's body. That is probably the worst ending we've had so far. Like, just in terms of how things panned out for everyone. Oh yeah, I guess Mizuki lives. We're gonna have a weird fucking talk when, when we fucking hobble back into the house in Boss's body. Be like, hey, um, so Date was a fucking crazy serial killer, and um, I am also. Uh, I want I want to bang, I want to bang Iris's mom, who's not her mom, but also um, she's dead. So, uh, what I'm saying is, you're gonna need to find a new school because your she was also your teacher and she's dead now. Imagine just fucking trying to explain this fucking thing run, to Mizuki. Run, run. Thank you for the 500 bits, Dash Jump. Wait, if someone swapped into Boss's body, who's inside me right now? Oh, 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 no! <laughs> I can't handle this truth, I gotta go. I guess in the end I took responsibility after all. As it turns out, chat, someone had already used Assuming Direct Control. BB did, six years ago. <laughs> Wicked sick. Ah, how fucking high mind gek. Thank you for the 50 bits. Oh my god, that means I'm BB right now. That's fucked.
That means the BB voice wasn't a bit. No, it was real. Just imagine you fucking corner me in the interrogation room and you're like, all right, we know it's not you. Who the fuck, who the fuck are you inside Fino's body? And I'll be like, well, if you know that I may as well tell you the truth, senpai. Oh, it is called the Annihilation Route. But instead of making an evil, like, crazy serial killer face, I just make the one to one face. Alright, here. I'll be right back. Let me get some more coffee, because holy shit. Wherever this goes, it's going to be fucking nuts.
All right, I'm back. Holy shit. Let's fucking go. Okay, so we saw Renju looking absolutely fucking dead. And we got tased. That's where we left off in this route. You're awake. Damn it. I don't think you can release yourself. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Pop out and cut me Come loose. Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me. I cannot. Why not? My body has short-circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. Gah. But fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. Any luck? And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sajima's interference. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sajima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. You're... Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Renju's body on the ground, without his left eye. You were inside Renju, weren't you? Until just now, you used the machine to exchange minds, then got rid of his body. Close, but you're a little off. I didn't get rid of the body. He died of natural causes. But what interests me more... Yeah? Is you. How Looks pretty natural you to me. Use the sync machine to exchange minds. <laughs> yeah, no. Natural causes. The way you're talking makes me think you know why I took out his left eye. The current. Did it unlock your memories? Then tell me, this body was originally... Mine. That means your body... This is your body, isn't it, Saito? I gotta say, aside from the whole, um... Being fucking insane thing... I like your body better. Can we keep it? Well, if you know that much, then this should be easy. Give me back my body. No, it's mine. I'll bite my tongue off. Then what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I haven't killed them. Yet. Yet? The brain you are currently occupying has an interesting quirk. Oh, does he want us to kill them? It releases a flood of dopamine and endorphins when it kills. I thought I'd take that brain back before killing Oh no, he wants to do it himself, of course. Why spoil the meal? In front of you, of course. Which is why I haven't killed them yet. Such beautiful eyes. I was going to begin the sink, but I think I've changed my mind. I want to see you mad. But what will really set you off? If you don't shut your mouth right now, all right, talking it is. What should I say? Do you have any questions for me? Yeah, I got a few. Yeah. Hmm. That's right, okay, so that's when Renju died. 
Because he was in Shoko's body. Start touching your own body, make him really uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, why was Shogo's rental phone in the horse? Oh, right. I put that there. When I was fixing Shoko's body on the horse, her phone fell out of her clothes. I forgot that I had given her one. I didn't want to take it with me, and I didn't want to toss it away. So, I decided to push it into the mouth of the horse. The merry-go-round horse's mouth was hollow, which allowed the phone to fall down into its body. Hmm. All right. What about day two? I was still in Renju's body. <laughs> Saito thinks eyes belong in stomach, so he put the iPhone in the horse's stomach. <laughs> the next target was Iris. If I asked her to come to the abandoned factory, I knew she would be skeptical, so I called her to Sunfish Pocket. I even video called her, but for some reason, she said no. This was around 5 p.m. I was still Renju, the president of Lemniscate. I didn't think I would have any trouble getting her to trust me, but... Date, do you remember? Saturday evening after syncing with Mizuki. Inside the Somnium, you thought you saw Iris's body, so you called her. The time was 4.52 p.m., right before Renju called Iris. You told her. Oh. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the oh, door. Oh! That's what threw him off! That's what threw his plan off! He couldn't get access to Iris early on in this route, that's why. If you did not warn her... She would have been taken here. I decided to pick her up in Renju's car. I thought that if she saw me in person, she would trust me. However... You got in an accident around 6.10 p.m. and lost consciousness. Ah, <sighs> so unlucky. My plans were ruined. But my ultimate goal is still achievable. So it's all good. All right, day three. After the accident, my body was taken to Central Hospital. I regained consciousness just past well, 12 a.m. Sunday. Let me reread that part. Okay, so the accident was indeed an accident. Okay. The surgery was a success, but Renju's organs were in a horrible state. But I had somewhere to be. I left the hospital, rented a car, and headed to Iris's house. Let's put him in Ota's body? <laughs> I know what happened after that. You got to the Sagan household at 2 a.m. You pushed the intercom button. He was sweating buckets and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. You got Iris to come with you, but when you tried to bring her here... I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. Oh, you know that too? But you're exactly right. I was planning to put her to sleep in the car, but I didn't have my drugs on me. The sleeping pills were inside Renju's crushed car. I was pushing my luck. My plan and my body were Oh, that's why shambles. Renju died. His body was already well, that's why Renju's body died. I'm sure it was already fucked from the crash as well. My mind was scrambled and I couldn't think straight. I couldn't chase after her. I needed to sleep. I managed to make it back here and collapsed on the ground. Next thing I knew was the next day. I woke up around noon on Monday. Renju's body was about to expire. By Monday, Renju's body was almost completely dead. And of course, my consciousness as well. That's when I got a call from a Mr. Amanoma. The man you call Pewter. Hmm. The boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Oh.
When I heard that number 89 was coming to Abyss HQ, I came up with a plan. Iris trusts Was it 89's body? Isn't it Rohan? This body. I think that's what we established in the other route. It was Rohan in the body. I thought I could use it to get to her. And there was another reason. I planned on eventually switching bodies with you. You and I would get our original bodies back. And after I do that, I will kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you while you're in this body. A rather nice plan if I do say so myself. That's why I asked Pewter to help Number 89 escape. I wanted this body at all costs. Yeah, what happened after that? I brought Rohan, who was inside Number 89's body, to the abandoned factory. Rohan was my partner in the Cyclops serial killings six years ago. So naturally, we had a lot to talk about, but I didn't have much time left. Not to sound like a broken record, but Renju's body was almost done. It was completely useless at this point. So, I put Rohan to sleep and began the sink. As a result, this happened. Renju. It's just like I told you. He died of natural causes. Holy shit. Just mercenaries I hired. We get the money for mercenaries. After I woke up Monday, I arranged the hit. They were expensive. Oh, Renju had, Renju had that much money on him? Damn, I didn't think he was that well off. I mean, I knew he runs a fucking idol company, but still. Fucking money for mercs? I paid them with his money. Of course, my intention was only to kidnap Iris. But after I got this body... I didn't really need them anymore, but they had already been paid good money, so I decided to leave the arrangements as they were, and then, pewter. I told him about Iris and hiring the assassins. I told him he could use them for whatever he needed. What? And he acted on his own without consulting me. <laughs> Fucking what? Oh! Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. So Pewter knew about Iris's, um... Did he know about Iris's condition? Pewter fucking used the mercs. Oh, why, why the fuck would he use the mercs then? What was that? Pewter! Pewter's high! What? I called Iris about 24 hours ago. Tuesday, okay, that's a fucking mystery I have to unravel. started a video chat with Iris. Long time no see. I'm sorry to call you out of the blue like this, but I need to see you. Iris got so excited that she dropped her gun. Oh! Because that's right. I told her where to meet Uncle. and she agreed right away. It was all according to plan. I knew that if I looked like him, she would do anything. I've been looking for him for six years. I see. That is why Iris left Matsushita Diner. So the person she trusts most. You, Date. Number 89's current body was originally yours. After Iris got into the car, I put her to sleep. I restrained her and called Hitomi. I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. I used Iris to reel in Hitomi. And you. Thanks for being so cooperative. But you did... Okay, hold on a second. That happened in the other timeline. Right? I was getting tired of waiting. Or was that this one? No, that was this one! That was this one! Oh! That's... Sorry, I'm getting my fucking... 
world lines mixed up. That's right, because we were locked out of this route at the point where we came here with Hitomi, because we'd synced with Hitomi, then she told us the truth. So we came here with her, and then we got knocked the fuck out. Okay, that was this route. I was only 12, but I remember it vividly. On that day, 18 years ago, I heard my dad on the phone. I'm going to see Monica. I followed him. I got into a taxi and followed my dad's car. He went to the Harbor Warehouse District. Yeah, that's why so hates our fucking guts. Jesus Christ. I've only ever been happy when I was killing something. Before Monica, I would kill cats and pigeons. It was the only way I could feel happiness. The only way I could feel anything. But like a drug, I eventually grew a tolerance to it. Oh, so we looked at the drawings on the Iris Somnium, because that Saito, we'd see the animals he killed. Okay. Next. I'll kill a human. That's when I found out about Monica. That woman took my dad from me, and she stole all the happiness from my house. So I chose her as a target. I was born with a brain disorder. I can't secrete oxytocin from my pituitary gland. And I didn't have a mother. Not a real one, I mean. My mom died giving birth to me. So, naturally, my emotions toward my dad were... complicated. Sometimes, I think, if I didn't kill Monica, would things be different? Maybe the murders six years ago never would have happened. Me, you, Rohan... Maybe none of us would have gotten mixed up in this. And maybe Shokonodami never would have gotten killed. Isn't destiny a curious thing? One mistake can change so many lives. Sorry, I don't have anything else to say to you. And even I'm growing tired of seeing that twisted, angry face of yours. So... Shall we get started? Give me my body back. No, it's mine. <laughs> what a strange fake eye. Oh, well. Oh, eat it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, I need that! All right, it's ready. Oh, wow. This it's is the lab. The sink room. <laughs> that was. Damn it, why can't I wake up? This doesn't look like footage from a surveillance camera. 
Okay, so if we stay in for six minutes... So, th yeah, actual, like, a, that's a ton of time pressure. We need to resolve this Somnium in, somehow. In a way that stops us from switching bodies within six minutes. Glitchy-ass prototype. What? Oh, okay, thanks. Am I being synced? Oh boy. No, it's okay. Now I can goof around. Holy shit. The door. Open it. It won't open. Oh, time standing still. Okay, we have to waste. I see. Okay, okay. I get it now. We're on the opposite side. We have to re force Without him to run out of time. Figure anything out. I don't know how that helps us. But I guess if we trap him in here long enough, we can make something weird happen. What? Damn it, what is this? Well, here's the thing. If we waste time, we switch bodies, which is what he wants anyway. So I'm a little perplexed as to what we're trying to accomplish on that front. I guess if we make time not pass, that might help. Language? Listen, there's no Iba. I'm fine. I'll keep it as is. Oh no, it's become Cruelty Squad now. My eyes can't handle this. Or I guess since I'm Date, my eye can't handle this. Go to the sink room, huh? Alright, move it. Investigate it. I <laughs> think such a dork. Me? What was he doing? What happened to Pewter? Uh, we beat the shit out of him and put him in a locker. Hmm. Press down. Ow! What the fuck? Why is it so sharp? Again. Old Rohan. Well, new Rohan. Door. This wasn't here before. Alright, move it. You know, I have a suspicion that our choices here don't actually matter. 
Not for not until uh, later on, I guess. This is I mean I guess it makes sense. Our mind is the one being probed. Oh hey. Look, Mizuki, I'm on TV. Stick my hand in. Damn. Oh, this. Hmm. I can use this. It's them. <laughs> Dude. That's the, uh, found a porn magazine face. You're... Knock it down. Damn it! Hit it. Damn, nothing. Your. It's just a mirror. Your. Touch it. I touched it, but nothing happened. <laughs> oh. You want this eye? Damn it. <laughs> That's it. Just a little more. Thinking. Yeah, do the thing. I can't stop it. No, you can do it. What do I do? Yeah, Baywatch. Oh. No. It's too early in the day for NW Evangelion. What is this?
Huh. <laughs> I did it! I did it! Oh, this feeling! I'm back. I got it all back! This fake eye is awful. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. All right, tase him. I think I'll keep it. Tase him. Ah, oh, must still be short circuited. Well, it's not deletion time yet. We have a couple of hours. Or we had a couple of hours. This prototype machine has a special function. The body I am transferring my consciousness into will receive a stimulant. The other body receives a sedative. You will be feeling it soon. Oh, so people can't... Oh, that's why... I see, that's why, um... Boss in, um... So's body in that other route... Oh, was so incoherent. Don't worry. Like I told you earlier, my plan is to kill Iris and Hitomi in front of you. So I can't be killing you right away. You will watch them die, and then you will follow in their footsteps. You should be honored. Oh, boy. Is my past buried in my subconscious? Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win, yay! All right. Now show us the version where she has to bark now like a you seal. Have to take the penalty. Up, up, side to side, up, down, pinch. <laughs> Iris, remember when you asked me what your stage name should be? How about Aset? You see that flower over there? It's a very special flower that blooms in the cold. The winter iris. <laughs> do you think do you think Falco's gonna tell tell her that the the fucking the place with the water is used for washing belly buttons? <laughs> like we did to Mizuki. Just like Iris from Greek mythology. <laughs> She's Welcome the, the messenger line. goddess. If you survive, and you the goddess of freedom. rainbows too. That's right. Thank you for the 50 bits, Blue. I'm now Kiritsugu. That's why the Hell yeah. Hell, oh no, he has a terrible life. Hope. Good news. Hey, Uncle. You met Mommy at this shrine, right? He was a policeman turned vigilante. Is. Well. 
To be fair, it was Rohan in his body telling us the story. Um, so, don't know how much of that we can trust, but according to Rohan in 86's body, uh, Falco was a policeman who became a vigilante, and then he got blackmailed into working for the mob. That is my understanding of the timeline. You two. What? When will Uncle be my dad? The Okonomiyaki War. Iris drew it. She must have really enjoyed herself. She even said that she wanted to do it again soon. Yeah, we should. We'll do it whenever she likes. Maybe even every day. Oh, you. Every day? Hitomi, do you want to live together, the three of us? Score. Uh, are you sure? What do you mean? People are going to talk. <laughs> I don't care about that one bit. Well then, hypothetically, what if Iris and I were being hunted down by a secret organization? Well, I'd defend you, of course. What if they're zombies? Zombies? Remember when we went to that haunted house and you were clinging to my arm? Because it was dark and it came out of nowhere. Listen, Hitomi, if only she knew the secret tech. If you just kept... Fine. Listen, porno magazines are like Scooby Snacks to this guy. If you, <laughs> if you use one at the right moment, he'll become fucking Hulk. I don't care if it's zombies or aliens or whatever else. I will defend you and Iris with my life. Thank you. Well then? My answer is yes. <laughs> Poor mags are command seals. You regenerate so, one every day. you wanna go clean? Fine. Do as you please. You've done a lot for us. But... There is one last thing. One final job I want you to do for me. It's nothing major. This woman and her daughter. I need you to dispose of them. Should be simple, no? Open up Penthouse and the Popeye music starts playing! What if he eats the porno magazine? This, this is... I see. So Rohan had that info and acted on his own with it. You got it. I want you on this right away. If you could do it in two, maybe three days, that would be great. Good luck. Oh, is the old friend in question? I see. Ah, it's the boss! I hear some pretty crazy confessions in my line of work, but this one takes the cake. Holy shit, boss! That pumpkin's been there for six years. But don't worry, alright? I hope that's not a real pumpkin. You could have told me you were being attacked by Martians and I still would have believed you. So, can you help me? I do have one idea. Huh? Have you heard of the new investigation department, Abyss? I was put in command there. And they never gave you a new office afterwards? The sink machine is normally used to look inside someone's head, but it does have another function. You can technically use it to swap bodies. Swap bodies? Right. So if we use that... What do you mean? I mean, switch bodies with Rohan. 
the new you will be Rohan, chairman of the Kumakuras. Oh, that was boss's plan? Then you can send out an order. That's why boss didn't want us snooping around in this shit. No one lays a finger on Hitomi and Iris. What about Rohan? Won't he be in my body? Just get rid of it, I guess. Get rid of it? You can take this opportunity to get rid of Falco once and for all. No one will know what really happened. No one will ever find out that a police officer was moonlighting as an assassin. It's two birds with one stone, right? Fuck. All right, leave everything to me, Hayato Yagyu. That's our name, Hayato. Oh. Boss, how did you bring in Rohan Kumakura? I made up some charges and had the cops take him in. Is that okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> about to switch bodies. Look at hell. All right, Rohan has been put to sleep. Yeah, let me get some of this protein. Bar. Give me a sec. Be waking up for a while. Remember, to get your consciousness to fully transfer. Yeah, I know. I understand. Stay insomnium for more than six minutes. Right. We're counting on you. Let us begin. Three. Two, one. Wow, holy shit. Okay, so Falco got access to Rohan's memories. You're... It's... me. Rohan? Did you forget your own idea? Does that mean... I'm Hayato Yagyu. The switch worked. And there's been a breakthrough in the case. Holy shit, we're huge. I know, you don't have to say it. Regarding the Cyclops serial killings, right? How did you know? We can monitor what happens in the Somnium from this room. Ah. We should ask him about it. Good idea. When Rohan wakes up, we'll interrogate him. Huh? What? What the Pure, fuck? Where is he? Uh, how would I know? This is bad. Oh fuck! Hey, which way did Rohan go? Huh? Rohan's standing right there. No, this isn't Rohan. Oh, because he's in Falco's body, he just fucking Yagyu. walked out. Where is Yagyu? Where did he go? Oh, him. He just left. What? Why didn't you stop him? What do you mean? He's a detective. He's a detective, exactly, you idiot. So I opened the door. 
Did I do something wrong? No, don't tell me. Oh, that's why Rohan and the boss come in and fucking shoot him. When he comes into, uh, when he comes into Hitomi's house. That was Rohan. Oh, that was Rohan in A6 or in, in Yagyu's body. Or Hayato, really. Oh, hello. What are you doing here at this hour? Such beautiful eyes. Oh, stop. You're always flattering me. Anyway, um, come on in. I'll make us some tea. You bastard! No! Stop! I see. Tommy gets hit in the crossfire. No. Stop right there. Everyone, listen up. Hitomi Sagan and her daughter Iris are untouchable from this day forward. If any of you lay a single finger on them, you don't want to know what'll happen to you. Are we clear? Yes, yes sir. Okay. And then, okay, so... Rohan... Falco was Rohan for a couple of years. Meet with For Cyclops. some amount of time. Figure out the truth behind the Cyclops murders. And, and then at some point, as as you're like we that, swap I into Saito's old. body. Maybe we lure him what in for a song. Why are we ripping out eyes again? That was your idea. Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't understand why you're asking me. Ah, I've been feeling a little forgetful lately. My idea, was it? Yes. You told me that you suffer from hemispatial neglect, that you can't recognize the right half of your vision. You always eat the left half of your meals and all that. The same is true of the faces of those you've killed. You can't recognize faces out of your right eye. Which means you can only see the right half of their faces. And that's why you pull their right eye. That's what you told me, anyway. Hey, about us. How long has it been since we last met? Wanna go that's steady? An odd question. <laughs> Humor me. The first time we met was when I killed Monica. And my father asked you to deal with the body. But we didn't so much as see each other for 12 years after that. Why are you asking me this? What was the next time we met? About half a year ago. And what did I tell you then? You don't remember? Remind me. I remember you showed up rather suddenly. You really want to kill people? I'll find you targets. Oh! So we were using him as a hitman. Just let me keep Or Ron was. Then we both get what we want. We'll yeah, make yeah. good partners. That's right. Because Saito doesn't actually care about the eyes. That's Rohan's fetish. Do you have someone in mind? Uh, let me think. 
What'll it be? The fifth murder? The fifth Cyclops killer victim? Hold on. Could you not refer to us like that? Why not? I told you, it's very old-fashioned. But that's our name. A name you decided. You even sent that letter without my permission. You said it would throw off their investigation. I don't know how effective it was. So there's no relation to Greek mythology? What? Don't ask me. <laughs> hey, Saito. Could you come with me for a bit? Where are we going? There's a place I want to take you. Really? Is it perhaps the police station? <gasps> oh, he knew! What are you doing? You aren't the real Rohan Kumakura. I I'm can tell body. as soon as you open your mouth. Let's get a change of scenery. Fortunately for you, I am interested in hearing you talk. Mr. Kumakura showed me this place, so it's fitting that this is where you die. What a wonderful feeling. The truth serum is working beautifully. Wow. I see. I see. You got into that body with the sink machine. Fascinating. I'm intrigued. I want to see it for myself. The prototype sink machine. Where is it? Chiba, you there. Why don't you go and fetch it for me? Don't worry. I'll pay whatever it costs. Yo. So that's how they end the switching bodies. Well, it looks like preparations are complete. Let's say you and I get started. Yeah, I just fucking yanked the whole thing out, you fucking lunatic. That was his first time doing it, too. All right, let's go. What are you doing? Follow him! I see, that's why Dante's so fucked up. You're Saito Sejima? Hmm, I guess not. Huh? Sorry, I just had a feeling. I heard that the prototype machine was stolen, so we lost communication for a whole week. Who are you? Just as I thought. You've lost your memory. All right. From now on, think of me as your boss. Boss? That's right. That's what you'll call me. Come with me to where you belong. West Virginia! Mountain Mama! 
I managed to make a new family register for you. From today on, you have a new name and a new life. As a member of Abyss, the team I run. You want me to be a police officer? You were a policeman before, remember? You've already passed the exams. There shouldn't be a problem. But the new me didn't pass. That's fine, trust me. It won't be a problem. That congressman knows how to pull strings. Who? No one, never mind. So what's ah. my new name? Kaname Date. Thank you for the 76 bits, Waz. Okay, so... Okay, boss knew how to play it. So because we were in Saito's body, we could use that as leverage against So. I hope you like it. Kaname he was able to pull strings Date. to get... Yep. Nice to meet you, Date. To get all this shit to happen. Computer. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iba. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. I guess she it's because, be in a manner of speaking, the original Cyclops killings. Companion. Well, they weren't resolved. Necessarily. How are you feeling? Your head clearing up? Never mind. I've been waiting. I really want you to enjoy this show. I'd have to refresh myself on what Rohan was I doing. I need you to see it clearly. Because he was in a hospital or something. Awake. Well, you know, Rohan's body. Oh, sorry. I skipped your text, Saito. Here, give me a sec. Oh, man. Ranger's still dead, huh? Yeah, the more things change. Yo, Saito. Yeah, what happened after we switched brains? What are you doing? Follow him! Talk to the mannequin? After the sink six years ago, I became a parasite in Rohan's body. But I was broken. The sink only sent data to my brain piece by piece. But that error did allow me to escape prison. No! Stop! Nah, whatever. It was Rohan who was accused of injuring Hitomi. Naturally, I went to trial being the one inside Rohan's body at the time for a violation of firearms law and attempted murder. Is Aiba modeling herself on Date's preferences or from subconscious influences from Saito's brain? That's a good question. However, you think Saito's into weird shrimp ladies? Prosecution tried to get him on premeditated Also, thank you for the resub, amazing corn man. How you doing? It was determined that he was insane at the time. Anyway, they decided to keep him in a special hospital. Ah. Yeah, what's Falco's real name? You would know more about that than me. Or do you not remember? You've been using other men's names for so long you don't even know your own. It's Yagyu. Hayato Yagyu. Yes, that's right. You're a Japanese native who worked as a police officer. Imagine a police I'm just trying to keep him talking until Iva does something. Killer. I don't think the public would react. I'm not sure he can, but I certainly can't. Out. Heads would roll, departments would fold, there would be shameful suicides. So your superiors decided that erasing every record of your existence was the preferable option. Hayato Yagyu ceased to exist, and Falco, the anonymous assassin, was sent to prison. Okay. 
where he was known as Number 89, fitting for a man with no name. Yeah. What about Rohan? Stop right there. Sorry, Rohan took the rap. Well, yeah, Rohan was stuck in 89's body, so he just got put in the slammer. They threw away the key until we went and fucked it up. I'm sorry, until Pewter went and fucked it up. Six years ago, Rohan in Falco's body visited Hitomi's house and tried to kill her. But that didn't go very well. He was arrested by the police. He was sent to trial and sentenced to life in prison. It only makes sense. Falco was an assassin responsible for countless murders. The title assassin makes it sound so clean and professional, doesn't it? But he was a murderer. Life in prison was a light sentence as far as I'm concerned. You deserved far worse. Consider yourself lucky. Yeah, mannequins don't do anything right now. All right. Hey, uh, look, a UFO. You have a choice. Iris and Hitomi. Die before these two or after. I would of course prefer that you choose the latter. It would be quite a lonely affair with no one watching. So, what do you want to do? I'll give you to the count of three. Oh, shit. One. Two. Three. No, wait! Oh, it's fucking... <laughs> Damn. Look at him, Moma, holy shit. What are you doing here? Oh, is he, is he in a fucking save? He's in a save Iris! <laughs> Really, Dante? Yeah. How'd you know? Yeah, someone called Iba told me about it. Oh! It was, was kind of like eavesdropping. Iba? Where is she? I don't see her anywhere. <laughs> Inside his left eye socket. What's wrong? Sorry, but the bastard got me. Take this. Hell yeah. All right. Tessa and her mom are in danger, right? Our aim is gonna be atrocious Save with them. one eye in a body we haven't used in like the better part of a decade, but you know what? Country detectives make do. Oh yeah, and we're also sedated. But it's okay, listen, we're a trained killer. Iris! Ah! Date, do you like fireworks? Not really. I love them. A brilliant, glimmering fragment of time. Hold on. Hold on, Iris. Let me just, uh, let me just preserve the timeline. Oh, uh, hopefully the we're a better shot than the lady in Psychopath. ...ordered chemical reaction that melts into chaos. Human lives are the same, are they not? Damn it! I can't get him on my sight, and I can't get any help from Iba. Blooming. Scattering in the moment. And it's only a single moment, isn't it? A unique moment that you can never revisit. That's what makes life beautiful. Don't you- Should I just risk it? 
But if I miss, I'll hit Iris. But I've spoken enough. It's showtime. I will show you the most beautiful fireworks you've ever seen. The scattering of the cerebral plasma. The splattering blood. It's art. Perfect, beautiful art of a lonely moment in time. You ever tried porno mags instead? Don't blink. I want this to burn into your retinas. Well, the one you have left. Damn it. What do I do? What do I do? Yo! Holy shit! Mizuki! You bastard! What do you think you're doing to Iris? Hell yeah! I'm here to help! Wait, Mizuki! Oh, fuck! Okay, it's a flesh wound. You have a fucking gun! Oh, I guess we can't aim very well, but still, come on! Oh, you know what? That works. Did you find him? No, I can't find him anywhere. Where the hell is he? Oh, fucking hell. Oh, you holding up. I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop worrying about me and go get that guy. Oh, God, we don't know where he told me is. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go save my mom. Ota. Some girl named Iba told me to come. I need you to get me a bear costume. I heard everything. About the mind swapping, too. I heard it, too. From Saito. Uncle, it's really you, right? You came to help? Yeah, of course. If I didn't come, who would? Oh, but don't flatter yourself, Date. We didn't come here for you. We're here to save Iris and Hitomi. Right. Yeah, thanks, Mizuki. <laughs> <laughs> Did he go through the door? I didn't hear it open. Is he still nearby? Maybe. Hmm. Oh shit! That's Date! Hitomi? Hitomi! Seems I have an even bigger audience now. That's fine. Having more spectators will be a treat for us all. Ooh, there is one other possibility. I don't know how many of our functions Iva has left, but there is one that she uh, joked about earlier in the game. Iva has a self-destruct function. You all want to see, don't you? The fireworks? We may see fireworks of a sort. <laughs> wrong <gasps> so you don't want to see the fireworks fine let's do this then date drop your weapon i promise i'll put the fireworks on hold i'll even release this woman i don't believe you he's lying date don't do it 
Throw down your gun, Tate. Ah, I see. You don't intend to take me up on my generous proposal? Tate! You want to shoot me, is that it? Then do it. But you only get one shot. Nah, technically speaking, I get more than one shot. <laughs> Alternate timelines, baby! You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest. And I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? What will you do? Pull the trigger! I can't. I can't hit him at this range. I can't aim with one eye. There's something else I could shoot? To make a fucking explosion? No, 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 no! Save I! First of all, thank you for the 50 bits, Blue. Don't hit Iba. And, uh. Obviously, yeah. And thank you for the 50 bits, Mystic. Are we gonna get a big bill this month? Okay, so here's my here's my idea. We do what we did. We do what they do in speed. You guys ever see the movie Speed? If you shoot the hostage, <laughs> it'll just confuse everyone. So here, let's go for it. Pull the fucking trigger! If only Ivo was here, I could take him out with her assist gauge. Fucking pull the trigger! Damn it! My limbs are weak. Is it the sedative? Pull the trigger. It's no good. I can't get him in my sights. No scope him! Pull the trigger now. I've only got one shot. If I miss, it's all over. Pull the trigger. This gun is a bolt action rifle. If I fire and miss, he'll have enough time while I'm pulling back the lever too. Pull the trigger. I can't miss. Hitomi's life is on the line. Pull the trigger! How can I make this shot? Even if I don't take the shot, Hitomi's still in danger. I have no choice. Please hit him. Uh-oh. Well. Ah. Uh. That went well. Okay, plan B, we give the gun to Mizuki. No, I'm not gonna save that! <laughs> Alright, it's fine. It's this one. I can tell by the time. It's okay, plan plan C. We ask him on a date. But repeatedly. you only get one shot. You have to kill me with one bullet. If you don't, the fireworks show will begin in earnest, and I will blow this woman's brains into the sky. What will it be, Tate? Come on, there has to be something I can shoot. Is there any, like, interactable that I'm missing? I mean, I guess the uh, other option is that we just drop the gun, but I... I... Alright, fine. No, I won't pull the trigger. Well done. However, you aren't out of the woods yet. You have to throw your gun down, remember? You have one minute. If that weapon is still in your hands, I'll start the fireworks. And one more thing. Oh, one minute? That's a lot of time. If any of you move, I'll skip down to zero. Let's begin. Ready? 59. 58. Date, look! It's that girl I told you about. 
Aiba. Oh. Date, I do not have much time. Listen carefully. As I mentioned previously, I cannot escape this body. The surge of electricity shorted out my circuits. I cannot administer a paralyzing electric shock either. But can you explode? However. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> huh? Self-destruct. Let us determine a code number. Command 41205. If you issue this command, I will detonate. No, that's still too dangerous. The number will be the first lock. If I give you the second command within one minute of the first... What is the second command? How about if I tell a lie? A lie? Something that's not the truth. If I say something untrue, I want you to regard it as the second command. Let's fucking go. Is your data stored in the cloud? Unfortunately, that data has all been deleted. I'm speaking to you using only local data. Then, if your body is destroyed... Correct. I will be destroyed as well. Ten. Oh, man. Nine. Say it, Date. Six. Five. Date, command. Two. One. <laughs> you are even more of an idiot than I thought. Do I look like the kind of man who keeps his promises? Now you get to see five fireworks. If you didn't drop your gun, it would have only been one. You understand? After I dispose of this woman, I will pop their heads as well. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Fortunately for you, you won't have long to regret it. Yes. Yes. The burning in your eye. I see it now. Watch. Eyes open. Watch this woman die. See her brain burn like fireworks. Iba, can you hear me? Yes. We don't have a choice. Command four one two zero five. Okay. Look at him, he's so happy! <laughs> fucking fucking Saito over there. I I Come on, show the part where she drove the forklift backwards off the pier. That was the greatest moment. I... I hate you, Iba. I hate you. And I never want to see you again. Second command confirmed. I understand. Be seeing you. Oh, fuck. Has Aiba always been in your left eye? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be jealous. Huh? Thank you so much, Uncle. No, don't thank me. 
Listen, just don't tell your mom about all the flirting and the uh, porno mags. Mr. Falco, it is you, Falco, right? You shouldn't call me that. I am Konami Dante, MPD, Special Investigation Team Abyss. Sinker. Holy shit. All right, so now we all get to go back and beat the shit out of Pewter, right? your left eye oh this <laughs> it's just a prosthetic it doesn't bother me oh good hey iris did you know people wash their belly buttons in that oh man uncle have you heard this story a long time ago when i came to the shrine with <laughs> <laughs> she started washing her belly button in the chozuya <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had some fishing line and gum. I never thought you'd be an offering box thief. No, no, you've got it all wrong. I swallowed a goldfish. I'm trying to get it out by swallowing some fishing line. Are you sure your brain is fully recovered? These statues are supposed to be inspired by sphinxes from Egypt. That went to India, then China, then all the way to Japan. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, shit. Praying Mantis! What are you doing? Praying Mantis Fist! Mizuki taught me. Hmm. Stone a monument. You know what it says? When listening to music on your smartphone with wireless earphones, oh my you god, must be sure it is properly synced with your actually device. just Date 2.0. And that's what it says. That is absolutely not what it says. All right. Do you like my new body? The way you are now is more familiar for me anyway, so... My old uncle is back, you know? Besides, I don't care what you look like. You're always uncle to me. That's right, uncle's back with a newfound love of... <laughs> with a newfound love of prescription medication and porn magazines. Isn't that how it should be? To judge by our hearts and not by our appearance? So I'm really that ugly, huh? <laughs> no, no, it's a rugged kind of handsome. I miss being a fuckboy. Alright, how are you holding up? As you can see, I'm great! Hop, hop! Kangaroo goes hop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad the surgery went well. Yeah! The nano machines went pew pew and bzz bzz and got rid of all the tumors! Oh, he actually got the operation! Holy shit. At least, that's what I think they sound like. I don't know, they're small. Anyway, everything is fine now. The doctor even said I can dance again. That's the most important thing. All thanks to the boss. 
She paid for the treatment. Can you believe it? What the fuck? Where did Boss get all that money? Oh. Oh. Ah, it's the buyer silence. Okay. Okay. Maybe I owe it to the shrine. I feel like I ate the fruit of immortality in a dream somewhere. Oh shit. Then I guess you're immortal, huh? <laughs> we'll see 50 years from now. Because of the memories. I wanted to come here with Uncle again. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. If we have to do it again, we're absolutely going paper. So that this touching moment can end with Iris barking like a seal. By the way, I still don't have the answer to my question. Mm, what question? When am I going to hear good news from you two? When will Uncle be my dad? Hmm, you know. Banging Hitomi. Well, let's get going. Yeah, we still have a lot of people to see. That is that is a good ending. We also have to get home. Hmm? Shovel Forge. Oh, shit. Bad ending. Uh, if you try it, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But we do have a date, don't we? The date we had three months ago isn't over yet. So let's go. Listen. The fewest number of people died in this route, so I'll take it. Uh, the, the one thing... The, my one regret is that we couldn't fucking give Pewter a swirly. You know what? Let's let's rectify that right now. I'm glad you finally got out of that hospital. Thanks, boss. Yo, Still I'd go with Iba. Her, huh? Yeah. No, not exactly. Well, doesn't surprise me. You two were great partners. <laughs> what if her name is actually Boss? That would have been funny. I think we actually did hear Boss's name I want to ask at one point. Three months ago, when we exchanged our final Actually, I think words. we can figure it out right now. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Why did we ever write this down? This is important information. You're 42? Holy shit. Wait, hold on a second. Where is he, Tommy? 37. Damn. Okay, hold on. But back to this real quick. Give me a sec. I got. I got to look up something real quick. Uh, let's see. Ah. There we go. I found it. <laughs> 
Finally, a use for this. All right, there you go. Oh yeah, uh, Date. Oh, wrong Date. 89. Oh, you know what? Early 40s. Is that about losing? I mean, yeah, it is. I look like I do now. I wasn't in Date's body. But Iba still obeyed me. Second command confirmed. I understand. You're underestimating the Wadget system. Huh? Iba was no ordinary AI. She was human in so many ways, including the ability to see and think beyond the physical. She didn't need your voice or iris authentication or anything like that. She knew the real you and regarded you as her master. That's why she followed your command, despite looking completely different. I think maybe she knew your soul, Date. My soul? Wait a second. My soul swapped bodies a couple of times now. Could it could could I have some sort of nomad soul? Check out the items, sure. You still haven't taken down your Christmas tree? Haven't you heard the old saying? If you take down your Christmas tree early, you won't become a bride until late. That's not an old saying. That doesn't even make sense. Aww. Kurunushi. Poor Grandpa Kurunushi. are going to transfer to Lemnus Gate next spring. Really? Yeah. Iris, my best friend. Have I ever told you that you're like a sister to me? Do you want anything? I'll buy you anything you want. What are you plotting? Hmm. Cabinet. Oops. Coat hanger. Plaster figure. Hey, look at that bust. Are his lips red? Oh, that's my lipstick. <laughs> Did you ever throw that thing around at parks? <laughs> it's not a frisbee. You could kill someone throwing that. No idea you guys had B2 stealth bombers in here. Iris. <laughs> That's a ruler. Wow! A B2 stealth bomber's a ruler? Fucking fake grand order leaks. Let's go. Oh my god. Everything here is so densely packed. I need to use my mouse. Cheer me on, okay? Here I go. One, two, three. Throw! Is it your birthday? No, that's been in here forever. <sighs> Every day is like my birthday. Wow, then you must be really old. <laughs> it's time to see the birth of the third Cyclops killer. Hold on, you know what? Let me take a screen cap of this real quick. I'm gonna take that down. <laughs> Oh, you haven't heard? Starting next year, that's going to be the official flag of Japan. Wow, really? That's my jack-o'-lantern. What if his name was Bill? <laughs> oh, it's an all-in-one? That's disgusting. Iris, if you had the ability to stop time, 
What would you do? Hmm, let me think. I want to catch a skyfish. All right, let's see. Tanuki. Pon poco pon. Pon poco pon. Pon poco pon. Pon poco pon. Would you two cut it out? Coffee maker. Coffee, beans, brewing. Damn, I can't think of any more dirty jokes. Who are you talking to? Hey, Iris. Date was a soccer ball in his past life. That's why he enjoys getting kicked around by me. I don't enjoy it. Volleyball. Volley reminds me of a valley, like cleavage. And of course, ball is self-explanatory. Isn't it kind of dirty? No, it isn't. There's nothing dirty about volleyball. Don't get mad at me. There's nothing A.O. about volleyball. All right. Mario. I hate being in their Nile group chat. I'm not even that close with them. <laughs> <laughs> that RC car kind of reminds me of Date's car. Hey, Iris. Yeah? What's the deal with you and Date? You <laughs> Soccer ball route when? No. Dude. I would play, I would play, I would play Somnium Soccer. If they put it out, I, I'd at least see what's up. Instead of having, like, uh, different, instead of having, like, different arenas, we just all, like, fucking teleport into someone's brain and just do the game there, And but because, like, soccer games take 50 years, uh, we all just end up as one person. I can't remember how many times I've told you this, but stop ogling me. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. I'm not ogling you. Hey boss, can I sit in your chair? No, it's my chair. Hmm. Matryoshka. Iris, would you like to have a matryoshka of your own? Oh, sorry, no. We're not allowed to have pets at the house. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, uh, thank you very much for the resub, Peaceful. 37 months of subbing. With games like this, it's not hard to imagine why. Thanks, you know, for the great stream so far. I can't wait to see what's next. Off to month 38 we go. Thank you very, very much, Peaceful. I appreciate it, man. A large key. All right, I think we've exhausted our conversations. Oh, there's a rug. All right, Iris. About the boss. Boss, you visited me a lot when I was in the hospital, didn't you? You're softer than you look. What do you mean by that? Do I not radiate an aura of gentleness and caring? You literally called me a slave before. But I didn't treat you like a slave, other than sometimes making you clean my boots with your tongue. You did, Date? I absolutely did not. <laughs> yeah, about six years ago. Boss, I gotta ask. Why didn't you tell me about what happened six years ago? Well, when Shoko's corpse was found, I didn't think it had anything to do with the Cyclops killer. I thought the culprit was Rohan Kumakura, remember? And he committed suicide a year before. I never thought mm. that he was swapping bodies. And the other person responsible for the original Cyclops serial killings was locked up in Fuchu, making it impossible for Saito or Rohan to be involved. So, I didn't tell you. Besides, the sink machine being used to swap bodies is a national secret. I was ordered to never reveal that information to anyone under any circumstances. So that's why you kept me in the dark? Yeah. Hmm. Ugh. By the way, Date, I have a gift for you. A uh, gift? Uh-oh. Close your eyes. Oh!
Don't worry, it's just some knockout gas. Uh, what? what the fuck? <laughs> You're going to experience something incredible. That's my present to you. Why? Shh. Sweet dreams, Date. No! <laughs> what? I'm getting sent into a somnium? Are you? What? <laughs> Who's? Pewter? Oh, what's a pewter? <gasps> I'm on my face. I heard. Plastic surgery, right? <gasps> oh, it's that, him! I have to remake your whole face like that. It's Kagami, but I can't tell him that. Otherwise, he'll think I'm too clingy. I have to get his name wrong. But it looks like it worked at least. You was it uh, Kaniza? It's Kagami. Kaniza, where did you even get that from? Only the first two letters are the same. Literally two thirds of the name is totally different. You managed to exhaust all of Kagami's dialogue options before getting here. He'll actually call him Kagami. That's amazing. <gasps> did you sync with me? I did not. But I did use the sink chair. For what? Something. Hmm. Why are you here? Am I not allowed to be here? Of course not. Well, every time the two of us have been in this particular room together, terrible things have happened. You should have been arrested three months ago. Is punished yes, and fired from the force. I was arrested. I'm eating awful meals every awful day in an equally awful detention facility. Yes, sir, you're right. Listen. Then how are you here? Hmm. I wonder. Don't act dumb. Date, it's okay. Boss brought him here. She did. They let you keep that Why? fucking outfit in prison? She told us not to tell you. Anyway, I'm sort of like his handler now. I'm supposed to be an inspector, but I was the only person qualified for this job. Kind of pathetic, isn't it? Poor Kagami. All right, where's Iris? Don't worry. She's with the boss. She's safe. Dude, yeah. Listen, prison is one thing. Pewter is lucky that when we rolled back into Abyss that we didn't fucking shove him through a locker. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Everything that the boss Like not did, into a locker, through the locker this you. time. Ask her about it. She truly cares about you. You know, that's why she kept silent about what happened six years ago. Huh? Are you saying I have a shot at the harem route? You were once an assassin. If your secret ever got out, your life would be effectively over. But the boss protected you by hiding your past. I don't think she wanted you to leave her alone. Now, who is she to you? Anyway, now that this is done, I'll excuse myself. Did he? Iris, what happened to boss? She went home. She said she needed to do something in Kabukicho. She left? Anyway, forget about that. Let's play. Play? You say shovel, shovel forward. forward. You s motherfucker. Oh yeah, let's see what's going on at So's place. <laughs> that This won't be a weird meeting. I see your face has improved. This one doesn't make me so angry.
What did you come here for? I want to ask you something. Hey, you better watch out, boy. I'm going to turn you into a piggy. Thank you for the 50 bits, Blue. So That's we blew up your son's head. To, to be fair, he probably wanted to do that, too. I just thought prison would suit you better. Don't you know the law? No one can touch me. Even though we both know you committed a crime. Indeed. 18 years ago. And I was not the one who killed Monica Iwai. That was my son, Saito. But you hired the Kumakuras to hide the body. The statute of limitations for improper handling of a corpse is three years. I did what I did to protect my son. I hardly think that is a Yeah, story. but your son's kind of a crazy motherfucker who probably would have been better off... Are you uh, familiar with Article 105 of the Penal Code? You know, not running around a free man. Relatives of those who have committed crimes cannot be prosecuted for evidence tampering or obstruction of justice. Who the fuck passed that law? That's ridiculous. I agree. If I were still a congressman, I might think about changing it. That's right. You're not a politician anymore. Oh! The media has already begun tearing you to pieces. Yes. Soon I won't be able to live in this country anymore. I'll retire to an island somewhere and live the rest He's of taking it pretty well. in leisure. Be careful, so. There are a lot of people out there who have a grudge against you. People who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Hmm. That's none of your concern. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Yeah, why'd you look for him? Also, I am like 99% sure that when we were knocked out, uh, we had a new Iba stuck in our socket. And she's just keeping quiet to me on us. Wishful thinking, but you know what? That, that's where I think that's going. Because of the woman you call boss. Six years ago, she came to me and explained the whole thing. Oh. You know about the Cyclops serial killings? The culprit is your son, Saito Sejima. But you already knew that, didn't you? What are you trying to say? I'm saying we should make a deal. You give me one thing, and I promise none of this will be released to the public. What is it? Leave Saito with us. Tell anyone who asks that Saito is soul-searching on a trip around the world or something. Do we have a deal? Ah... I didn't have much of a choice, of course. If I refused, Saito's crimes would be exposed and my political career would be over. Besides, I never held much love for him in the first place. She was practically doing me a favor. So, of course, I said yes. And in doing so, I was able to learn a secret of the Metropolitan Police Department. It worked quite nicely for me. Why did you call Shoko's phone? Recall the conversation we had? That my secretary got a call from number 89? That is true. I did get that call. I know. You spoke with number 89, didn't you? I did. What did you talk about? He told me this. A woman named Shoko Nadami knows what happened 18 years ago. Contact her. And you called her phone? Whoa. Huh. Yes. What the chemical plant? I've been studying for the past three months. I've learned a lot about the explosion of the chemical plant in Kawasaki. 
It was caused by you and Rohan, the chairman of the Kumakuras at the time. As you know, my son Saito was abnormal with all of the awful things that my son did. I used my money to cover it up, but that got increasingly expensive, you see. One day, nine years ago, Saito called me. Dad? I thought of a plan. A foolproof plan to make us rich. A chemical plant explosion plan. To help ensure that the casino in Kabasaki would be extraordinarily profitable. It was Saito's idea. True. My son was born with an abnormal mind. But if I had never been involved with Monica in the first place, perhaps he wouldn't have ended up losing control completely. As soon as he drove his knife into Monica, something awakened in him. In the end, that's what led to his destructive, violent... You sound like you're blaming yourself. Perhaps. Now, why didn't I want you to contact I Shoko? exactly. The only thing he said was, I realized everything when Shoko arrived. I have to see her again. I had no idea what he was talking about. Yeah, that's right, because it was Rohan and, uh, Rohan and Saito. That's why they met. So they could work out a plan. By the way, did you ever meet number 89? No, I didn't. Did you ever see his face? No. Why? No reason. All right, see ya. Well, I'll be seeing you, so. I very much doubt that. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, damn. I left Iris waiting. She might be angry. I gotta get back to her soon. All right. Wait a fucking second. Sunfish. Oh, come across office. Let's go. Date, let me tell you something. God exists. When Tessa was in the hospital, I pray to this shrine every day and guess what my prayers worked god must have been listening are you crying no dumbass i don't cry i don't yeah you're crying thank you god thank you for saving tessa <laughs> <laughs> Someone wanted to see you when she left the hospital. Tessa! You didn't have to come see me! I really wanted to see you. Oh, well, well in that case, yes, of course! Uh, I, I am here! You wearing the right size, member B? Shut up! None of your business! Lost a lot of weight, okay? You oh. look like you're dying. I'm not! You really should see a doctor. Oh, Tessa. You believe it or not, I am a doctor. What the fuck? Seriously? Yeah, he doesn't look like it, but he, he really is a doctor. They come to me when they don't want to go to a real hospital. So... Yeah, he's our mob doctor. Amazing. Let's see. Third A-Set Life solo performance? Uncle, do they have chocolate and pastries over there? You're thinking of a patisserie.
Okay, while opening your jacket, sitting on a public train, make sure it doesn't accidentally touch the person next to you. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's a real big contact lens. That's an ashtray. Check me out, dude! Hang ten dudes! That's a surfer. The fuck? <laughs> Iris. Uncle, let's make our date exciting until the end, okay? We wouldn't want to get too tangled up together. You're right, we wouldn't. Wait a minute. Date? Hey, Iris. About these lanterns. Yeah? Is there anything a candle reminds you of? Is it a dick? You're ruining everything. <laughs> nice. Oh, the other guy is here. How you doing? Do I look all right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard you got plastic surgery. You look better than before. It suits you. All right. Mr. Kumakura? I think he's really nice. Of course I am. About that ring. I won't give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Wedding. Dress. Bless. Tessa. Imaging. Compress. Process. Tessa. Crime. Redress. Transgress. Tessa. The net idol superstar. Tessa. A set you bet. Wow! That's really cool. What did you do to these guys? Just a little propaganda. Sun up to sundown. I made him watch your videos, Tessa. They got addicted! <laughs> Tessa, I'm so honored to meet you. Is it okay if I shake your hand? You bastard! What makes you think you're good enough to touch her hand? It's fine, it's just a handshake. Yes! So soft. Fainted. Too much excitement, I guess. My God. Yeah, how's your injury? Injury? You got shot three months ago. That was just a scratch. Didn't even hurt. I'm all good now. Wow, okay. Don't talk to me about that guy anymore. I should I inspect him? He looks all right. I know he was a murderer, a real piece of shit. But we were brothers. I can't be mad at him, no matter how much he deserves it. But I can't just forgive him either, you know? So I figure, fuck it. It's better to just forget about him. Let's get the fuck out of here. Anyway, sorry to bother you, Moma. Date, wait! Before you go, I have one favor to ask. Oh, oh boy, here it comes. This is hard for me to get out, but... Uh... Yeah, spare me. You want to see Iris's panties, right? <gasps> panties? I never asked for something like that. Then what do you want? Puff Puff. <laughs> uh, sorry? <laughs> I want Tessa to puff puff me. You know what I'm saying? Just shove my face in there. Just... Brrr. Are you kidding me? You know what? Fine. I'll ask. Dante, you're a real friend. All right. Close your eyes. Yeah. yeah. Like this? Good. Yeah. Stay still. Do not open your eyes, okay? Promise. 
You ready? Yes! Okay, let's do it. Three, two, it's one. It's us. It's us. He's gonna motorboat us. Oh, no! <laughs> never mind. You know what? That works, too. Dante! I've never felt so alive! All these shitty years of my life have been worth it! With this moment... Boss? Let's go. I don't know what's going on, but okay. This is amazing! I am living! All right, let's see. Oh, wait, this might be my last chance. Lemon escape. Wait, because what happened this morning? Yo, you want to go on a vacation? Excuse me? You might not remember, but three months ago, I called to ask you about Renju, and you told me about Sunfish Pocket. You really helped me out. Thank you. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever. You want to go to a Tommy with me? Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, lady. If it were any other timeline. A Tommy? Why? Uh... Go to Tommy. I want to rub them. I want to rub them. Oh, I could rub them all day. What? You're too curvy, tight. Oh, my shoulders. Oh my God, thank you. I've had so many knots lately. Ugh. Perfect timing. Go ahead. I'd love a shoulder rub. So, you want to go to a Tommy? Yeah! Oh. You wanna go to a Tommy? Hold me! Hold me tight! Hold me tight! Oh, my good fellow. Feeling a bit worse for where are you? Worry not. I shall embrace you. No, not you! No! You. Moi? I am merely a taxi driver, my good man. Have we met? Well, let me see. No, I don't think we've ever crossed paths. I have an excellent memory. I usually remember my customers, but I cannot place your face. Yeah. What are you doing here? I have an appointment to wait upon a young celebrity. I was told to wait here. Oh, do we never meet him in this timeline? Yeah. Yeah. You want to fight me? <laughs> oh, fuck, I'll lose. Hold on, let me get a screen cap of that. I better not fuck. <laughs> Would I get workers' cup for that? <laughs> Yo! Yo! Hello! Hello. How are you? Creepy old man. Nothing, huh? Can you ask if she's graduating soon? Uncle wants to know if you're going to graduate soon. So what if I am? Just buy me a new junior high uniform. And hire a tutor. I want to go to a good school. And a new smartphone. And a new iron pipe. That's what she said. Iron pipe?
uncle wants to know how you've been lately. You don't know? Even though we live together? Of course you don't know, because we barely talk. Even after you've officially adopted me, you don't have any sense of responsibility. That's what she said. Man. Uncle wants to know why you're here. No particular reason. Am I not allowed to be here? I inherited daddy's stock at Lemniscate. This is my company now. Oh Isn't shit, she's the president of Lemniscate now? Well, maybe not president, but holy shit, she owns Lemniscate. That's what she said. Can you cut this out already? What happened? Breakfast this morning. I made the eggs over easy. That's it? Yeah. Well, that's not so bad. No, that's not it. I made the eggs over easy, and then Dante... How can I eat eggs like that? I want my eggs over well. Burned to the pan on the bottom and chewy on top. Why don't you just eat an eraser? <laughs> an eraser would taste better than what you served. <laughs> oh, shit! You shouldn't say that about Mizuki's cooking. That's mean. You're in the wrong here, Uncle. Why don't you be honest and apologize? Mizuki is the one who should be honest. I'm like her hero. What? When I was in the hospital, you were crying like a baby. Oh, I can't live without Dante. That's what you said. No, I didn't. And you were never in the hospital. Yes, I was. Was I not? <laughs> oh! The timeline! Anyway, why don't you just make up already? If Dante keeps his promise, I will. Promise? The stew? You said you would take me. Oh, that. Yeah, uh... Is that this timeline? Uh, yeah. Okay, And I can uh, imagine that I would've made that promise okay. either way. You promise? Promise. Good. I'm glad you two are being civil again. Anyway. Holy shit, yeah. the universes are combining. Yeah. All right, Mizuki. See you soon. See you. We do it wow, right back to the ultra sour face. She's just sitting there menacingly. Hmm, you know what? I want to end at the Sagan residence. Actually, who the fuck is that sunfish pocket? Is it going to be Ota? Or is Mizuki also going to be there? There's that one waitress. Ah, there's Ota. I'm seriously so happy for you, Tessa. It's thanks to you, Ota. If you didn't help me back then. No, really. The resting Mizuki face. Much. I just risked my life to save you. It's a total exaggeration to say that I'm literally responsible for, you know, saving your life. Hmm. The men in here are likely to see Davy Jones soon. Why does everyone look like are they brothers or something? Do you like Uncle? I don't judge on appearances. It's what's here that matters. Aww. The tits. Yes, but also bad Ota. No, wrong. Hey, why is there a Fire Emblem character back there? Working here part time. Sup, girl? Sup, girl? Sup, girl? <laughs> Excuse me? Ota, you can't just say that. Wah, wah. About my face. Ota told me. Plastic surgery, right? I kind of like this face more than the other one. 
Oh, okay. You're good at your job. Please come again. <laughs> All right. Shadows. Shadows. Thread, silhouette, ASAT. Fears. Upset, regret, ASAT. Water. Wet, sweat, ASAT. Hmm. ASAT, you bet. I can't believe you remembered that, Uncle. I'm so happy. I said most of it. Yeah, I'm glad you're okay. I'm actually exhausted right now. But I can't look tired in front of Tessa. Anyway, how are you? I guess I'm alright. Your left eye, uh... It's fake. I can't see anything out of it. And it doesn't talk. Huh? I see. So, Iba? What a tragedy. <laughs> oh man, so sad to hear about Iba. Mm. <laughs> this motherfucker. A tragedy? Yeah. She was so cute. What a waste. Ah, uh, that's why. If she were real, I would marry her. You would not survive the attempt. What do you mean? Ota, what are you saying? In front of Iris. Oh, Ro Ro Tessa, Ota. I was kidding. It was a joke. It's fine. I don't care. Thank goodness. I don't think that's what she means. <laughs> I've been doing good. I'm delivering newspapers in the mornings, working as a janitor during the day, and writing at night. I might just be the hardest working 20 something in Japan. Uh. I don't know about that. Really, though? I've got to be, like, in the top three in Tokyo alone. <laughs> All right, see you, idiot. Well, Ota. Aw, you're going already? I can see you anytime I want, right? At Matsushita Diner? You'll... you'll come? Yeah, I want you to make me your omelet rice again. <laughs> awesome. Stop by any time. I'll be waiting. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, now it's over. You know what, let's visit Marble. I think we heard something about Boss maybe taking a visit. Otherwise, we'll pay Mama a visit instead. Dante, honey. Yo, isn't that one of those guys? Have I not introduced Maybe he's out of a before? job. I'm Iris Sagan. Nice to meet you. I'm a net idol from Lemniscape. A virgin? Hmm? I'm just saying, sweetie, you look like you don't know a lot of men. <laughs> and what about you, Mama? Me? I'm a fairy godmother, honey, because I associate with fairies and am an older, motherly woman. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? You are. Dude, yeah, I like how all the timelines are fusing together. I've got some fun insertion in our head. videos I think you'd like, Dot. <laughs> Excuse me? What's she talking about? A uh, medical training video. The kind where you put metal bars in your dick. For getting temperatures, you know? Oh. Hmm. Uncle, that word on the chalkboard? Salsicha? What is that? It's what Italians say when they find a seat for their friend Sal. It's sausage. <laughs> Do I know you, sir? Uh, who are you? Don't matter. Talking about so? Quit that gig long time ago. You quit? Yeah. That guy fucking sucks. I punched him in the face and quit. Damn! <laughs> Holy shit! You're drunk, aren't you? Good job. I'm not 
Drunk. From the look of you, you're pretty good at hiding it. Mama! Tits! Whoops. I meant tip. I got a big tip. If he gives me one more drinky. Don't you think you've had enough? No. Oh. No. Oh. oh, you're <laughs> lucky I'm in a good mood. Fine. One more round, okay? Yay! <laughs> Iris, let me introduce you to Mama's little brother. Oh, that's the fridge! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. Find your headband. Hey, Iris, I've been wondering. What's with your headband? This? The fan of it Napster? Kept my brain tumor from spreading. I don't yeah. really need it anymore, but I feel naked without it, you know? Huh. Cat ears. They prevent the spread of cancer. Yeah. I can't say much. Last three months been. The Let's public see. thinks our Ren killed Shoko. Ah. Uh. And then number 89 busted out of jail and killed Ren. And then he goes and commits suicide by blowing up his own head. That's what all the news reports have been saying. I know there's more to it than that, but... Hmm. Ah, okay. So essentially, in their version of events. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how they make it work. You see, Mama, the truth is... Spare me, honey. I don't want to hear it. If I hear the truth, I'm only going to have more questions. Yeah, you're probably right on that count. There are a lot of things that don't quite add up. Adate's face, for one thing. Looking exactly like number 89. They say that your face got hurt real bad in the explosion. They had to put you under the knife for plastic surgery to save you. Your face turned out like that by chance. That's what happened, right? Tell me it is. Yeah, no, I have to get a skin graft. Anything more complicated than Full that, face I will skin lose my mind. All right. What are you doing with that bonito? This? It's not bonito. Then what is it? Part of the man who cheated on me. <laughs> I chopped him up and dried and smoked the flesh. You're joking, right? Am I? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little tight, honey. How could I see that? You want to? I do. I want to see. Do you even know what she's referring to? Huh? <laughs> All right. See you, Mama. I'm out of here. We should head out. Yeah. Oh, leaving so soon? Don't worry, I'll be back as long as you have information for me. Oh, enough work. You should come in sometime for pleasure, honey. Sure, Mama. See you soon. All right, Matsushita Diner. Surgery went Who well, is that? Didn't it? Oh, from the hospital, maybe. Ota told me all about it. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Oh, who is this? Oh, um... I'm close friends with Ota, ma'am. Is that right? Thank you for taking care of my boy. Yeah, I'll say this. Um, Listen, Ota is no longer the most bulliable person in the metropolitan area. 
Someone actually overtook him, so you know what? That's an improvement. Congratulations. You're the nurse from Central Hospital. Well, yes. Have we met? Why are you here? I came to deliver Mayumi's medication. The pharmacist sent me. You seem pretty happy. I belong to the Association of Nurse Actresses. I got a call from my director this morning. They're giving me more lines. I used to have a big part <laughs> during the opening scene, but now I have lines at the end, too. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> That's wonderful, sweetie. What's your name, miss? Hanayo Nasu. It will be Hanayo Yogano next month. Oh, no, she's getting married! Yes, that is so wonderful. Damn. Thank you. Well. She's so cute and fashionable. She's so Wait, hold on a pretty. second. Are you guys serious? Oh, sorry. Um, big sister, right? Or maybe mother-in-law? You might be calling me that one day. No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yogano. Yogano. Oh, it is him! It, it's highly likely that it is him. Because we've only met one Yagano, right? Huh. Fucking hell. Dude, fucking score for Doctor Man. Iris, put this bucket on your head. Listen, I have a brain dysfunction. I can only feel happiness when I see anime girls doing ridiculous things. All right. How's the diner doing? It's doing great, thanks to you. The lunch rush is always crazy. My husband and I are working hard. We never get any time to rest. Ah. Uh... Ah, uh, that hasn't gotten any better, huh? Unlimited! Ah! Even the most advanced technology can't cure dementia. Thank you for the 100 bits, Blue. As far as victory lap or epilogue, things go, or epilogue sort of things go, this one is definitely S tier. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. visited her in the hospital. Oda brought me. Yeah, I remember. I was so charmed by her. No, oh, stop. You're making me blush. I had no idea she was such a nice girl. You thought I was a witch or something before, right? Don't remind me. I was so awful to you. But now I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Thank you. All right. About Ota. Ota? That boy is a handful of trouble, I tell you. That's not true. Yeah, that's right. Ota can be really heroic and brave when the time calls for it. <laughs> oh, you're praising my boy. Maybe I should give you a meal on the house. Hell yeah. Lucky cat. All right, here. I can only assume we're one or two cutscenes away from the end, so let me. I'll be right back uh, before we wrap things up. Give me a minute.
All right, I'm back. Well, All right. let's get going. Now. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for helping my son. He needs friends like you. All right, now let's round out our victory lap by making Iris a little brother or sister. Who knows? Let's roll the dice. Iris, didn't you say you were going to see everyone who visited you at the hospital today? Yes, Mom. I still have some people to see. But Uncle really wanted to come here. I said no such thing. Come on, don't be shy. There are a lot of things you want don't to talk buy about, shy? right? Come on, just do it. I already did that in a previous visit. Is there new dialogue for the shoebox? For old time's sake, you know what? Sure. Uh, Uncle, you're so shy. For old time's sake. <laughs> you don't change. <laughs> you doing the same thing. Oh, that's where we got the habit from. We always had it. Uh, you saw that. <laughs> Well, listen. Excuse me, Toby. Now that the secret's out, I'm just gonna slam my head in there. Are the flowers still blooming? Yes, they haven't withered at all. Maybe it's a miracle. Hmm. <laughs> Introduction to tax evasion. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> you said the same thing six years ago. All right. Who cares about me? Talk to her. Iris, you're the I best wingman you, ever. Right? All right. Hmm. Let's see. Well, you know what? Let's start with the let's start with the bad subjects. They were my best friends. We would always go to this little coffee shop after school. They had this old game machine there. It looked like a table and it was about shooting invading aliens or something like that. We talked about all sorts of things sitting there. Our love lives, our potential careers, things we didn't like about our teachers. It was their idea that I become a teacher, you know? They told me that teaching elementary suited me perfectly. Those were such fun times. Hmm. Thank you. This is all thanks to you, Falco. No, I didn't do anything. Also, uh, that name. Oh, sorry, Mr. Date. I'm grateful. From the bottom of my heart. All right. That ain't Falco. Things have calmed down, thanks to you. The school has changed, but being a teacher hasn't. This is about my arm. Don't worry about that. You tried to defend me. I know that. You're too nice, Mom. I will never forgive you. <laughs> you have to take responsibility. Iris. You know what? Under normal under normal circumstances, I would never take responsibility. But just this once. No, let me talk. <laughs> Will be your right arm. 
that's how he can make it up to you. Maybe not now. It might take some time, but I'll be waiting. One day, Uncle will stand on Mom's right side, and we can go wherever we want. The three of us to the ocean, a river, an amusement park. Yeah, you know what? I like this idea, Iris. Listen, I'll be Hitomi's strong right arm, and Mizuki will be my strong right arm. We're like a never-ending chain of strong right arms. Barbecues, and we can make okonomiyaki. Where's that hot plate I bought? On the shelf. And I'm gonna need a raincoat. Hey, that's cheating! You're planning on being covered in flour? Of course! That's why it's fun! <laughs> that's true, you know what? Mizuki <laughs> is the strongest right arm. Like, listen, if Iris is your... is your, like, partner that gives you the edge in all the social situations. Mizuki is like the combat teammate. Listen, maybe a little weak to pepper spray and uh, bullets, but aside from that... Essentially a juggernaut. Why? Why here? What possible reason? It's a happy ending. Don't go there. Iris, why did you want to come here? Haven't you seen everyone you wanted to already? Yeah! Okay, so I have a, I have an idea. So, listen, we're vulnerable to getting today. ambushed, right? It keeps happening to us. We keep getting knocked out. We keep getting tased. Um... Artificial eye doesn't help with that. You know what will, though? What if we had a modified backpack, or perhaps even like a, a, a gigantic fanny pack, and we just stuff Mizuki in there, and like, we have a button that just ejects her out of there. Like, like she's one of Soundwave's fucking robots. And she does all the fighting for us. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Is the day finally over? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Not just for today, but for everything. Six years ago, you helped me and my mom, and I'm so grateful for that. Will you close your eyes for me, Uncle? You want me to close my eyes? Yeah, please. Wait. Are you gonna make me motorboat a fat person? You want me to close my eyes? Do you? And Just do it, quick! I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. Oh, man. Oh, no. No way. It's happening. There are three things you can count on with a Fino Tyson brand. All right. One, he will cheat to win. Two, he will never take responsibility. Three, he's not afraid to mention what porn he was looking at. Thank you for the 100 bits, Dash Jump. I saw this anime once called Demon Slayer. The backpack idea could work. Hmm... All right, either I end okay. up in the water. Open them. What? <gasps> Where's the a ghost option? Oh <gasps> my god, I fucking knew it. Yeah, let's cry. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a long time, Kaname Date. Ah, <sighs> at a time like this. Shit! He's a fucking word. lobster! Oh, lobster is almost right. More like a shrimp. Thank you for the 50 bit skek. You know, if Iris is good at social stuff, Mizuki is good at fighting. Someone to teach them the Dragon Ball fusion dance. I don't know what to say. You. I don't, I don't think the world is ready for Myris. You are... Uh... That is, uh, um... Who are you again? You haven't changed. You're still an idiot. Yeah! You're the idiot! You idiot! I thought you died! I was worried about you. 
pardon, but you were the one who issued the self-destruct order. Oh shit, you remember that? Anyway, I want to know something. The number, 41205. There must be something to it. It does not. It is only my favorite number. Your favorite number? I see. Oh, sorry. I hear everything Iva says over this earpiece. I think I understand the meaning behind her number. What does it mean? Iris, do not tell him. Uncle, think of the alphabet. What's the fourth letter? Oh, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. It spells out Dante. A, B, C, D. It's and the first? A. And the 20th? And the fifth? <laughs> I see. What's going on? Allow me to explain. I, or everything that constitutes my I, disappeared completely three months ago, including all of my backup data. However, fragments of my data were being secretly uploaded to cloud servers around the world for years. By downloading and decoding these fragments, I was able to reach okay. and consciousness. Dude, the wedge system runs system deep. That brought me back to life. That system is responsible for proliferating my data. Wajet is like a mother to me, and she protected me as her child. And I am forever grateful to my mother. Never underestimate the power of Wajet. To be exact, I am not here. You are seeing an augmented hmm. reality virtual projection of myself. My physical self is... In my left eye? Yes. How did you get in there? I see you have not become any more astute in my absence. Think carefully. Yeah. Fucking pewter put me Everything in there once the boss the knocked boss me out. Did, she did for you. At Abyss, when I lost consciousness. Yes. Pewter embedded me in your eye socket. I knew the whole time. Boss told me about the plan to restore Iba. I wanted it to be a surprise for you, so... Is this my thank you? Does this mean I have to pull my lighter out of that little slot in my car now? Yeah. Man, I'm gonna miss that. But it's not over yet. Huh? Anyway... Um... Iba... Welcome back. Glad to be back. I'm um... Iris, you, you know she's gonna be watching every time I bang your mom, right? Is that not... no, no, not weird? Alright, fine. Well, now that Iba has risen from the dead... I think we should celebrate with a dance number! A what? Hit it! <laughs> Yo! Please! Oh my god, I was just there. <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck, Mizuki? What'd you get here? I don't wanna hide it. That's oh. what I decided. I can't live divided. I know I was wrong. I love you more. While they all lose their way. Hey! Holy shit, everyone's here! What? Everyone is- what? Am I hallucinating? Hey! Dude. Okay, we couldn't get Pewter out of prison, but we could get the, the drunk ex-bodyguard. That was hanging out at the bar. You know what? I'll take it. Dude, it'd be great if it just cut to fucking Saito's body just dancing without a head. This is wild. I never thought this fucking game would end with a dance number. That's hilarious. That's amazing. By the way, everyone, the reason you can see me right now is because I'm projecting myself as a special Wow. I don't know how I expected this to end, but I promised Sunset Dance number on the bridge. Yeah, on the pier was it wasn't it? No kidding. So thank you for the 50 bits, Grey Wolf. Hell yeah, dude! I I gotta play the I gotta play the sequel when it comes out. Are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> no. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me! All right. <laughs> Holy shit! Now, here's my question. Does it have characters that weren't in the ending? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't. Alas, we'll never get to see. There is no animation for for Saito dancing. Is that? Wait. Oh, okay. So, so we have the option of showing that again. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, that's awesome. Are you fucking kidding me? Here, let me see if I can find something real quick. That was fucking outstanding.
Are you kidding me? That's awesome. All right, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can uh, pull it up real quick. All right. Uh, trailer. Will this work? Okay, that window is the wrong size. That window is also the wrong size, but you know what? I can fix this. Yeah, let me see if I can make this work, chat. Give me a second. Here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to watch the sequel trailer. Nirvana Initiative, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look. Hold on. I don't know what I set this to record, but it is super fucking small. Like the screen real estate. Come on, hurry up. Oh, wait. I got this. There we go. And bottom should be like, I don't know, like a 200. Nah, a little too small. All right, let's take a look. I'm real curious. Yeah. Give me a sec. Here, let's, let's, there we go. All right, let's take a look. It's coming out in June? Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Hold on. There's no sound. God damn. Oh, I know why. I fucking know. Okay, hold on. I have to enable audio output capture. Give me a second. That's right. I have it set to not actually play my browser audio. Give me a sec. I hunger. Beware, coward. Run, run, run. Thank you for the 500 bits, Real Pocket Whale. Rated RP for rare prisms. All right. Uh, so, yeah. You know what? In case this thing has copyrighted audio, it's not going to come up on the VOD. But, you know, the fucking... The trailer's out on YouTube, so you'll be able to hear it there. All right. That's right, because I have this thing set up for Zerk Radio. It's meant to not play browser audio. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I can actually make it. I can actually record it. There we go. It should work now. I just need to remember to change it back. All right. Let's go. There's a second trailer. All right. Hold on a sec. You guys hear this? Nine nine nine. Oh, here's music. I wish I had some omelet rice. It is almost time. Take this mission more seriously. You're not like that perverted buffoon. Yo, is it time for Mizuki Buso? Yeah, yeah. I hear ya, partner. We can solve any case as long as you have me. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No one. Hell yeah. All right, hold on. Give me a sec. Let me pull up the second trailer. Uh, okay. This should be the one.
story trailer, correct? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... the left half of his body. That oh. body teleported here from a parallel world! The base sequence was an exact match with the left half that was found. There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours oh. ago. I had a dream. The time limit with insomnium is six minutes. It wasn't a good dream. Somnium scan! Activate! That somnium, though. That's why I didn't tell you the truth. It's a reverse sync. Oh. They say there's a hidden message inside. I can't forget about what I did. What's with that thing? Holy According shit. to the rumors. Oh, there's the diner. The secret of the world. You okay, Ryuki? It can't be. The Bats 490 video. Huh. I don't really want to talk about him. This place is... Oh. It's the whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a second! Ryuki, we're almost out of time. It's my life. That's when I realized. And I'm dedicated to solving this case. You will someday. Ryuki! The half body serial killer. Oh my god. What? What the fuck? No forgiveness, no mercy, never! Yo, how the fuck? What? Now I have to know. Can't be the same one, he had his head blown off, like his whole head. Tell me one last thing. Yo. Also, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you for the resub, uh, Orion Bear Hunter. Thank you for that, and Genocide Angel as well. Yo, Fino, thanks for the streams. Now Zuma rolls and FGO awaits us. I'm looking forward to it. I want my own say. Oh boy. Yeah, we did see Iris. Hold on. Let me see if I could find the the shot. There. We saw Iris at least once. Although I don't know what's up with the other Mizuki. Hmm. That is past Mizuki, true. Or one pot. I mean, we don't know. Like, we don't know what fucking timeline shit is happening here. So who knows? Anyway, uh, that's pretty interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out. Anyway. Let's see. What shall we do here? You know what? It's been a while. Let's read Shark Chat. But yeah, I think I'll end it here. Uh, it's uh, about an hour earlier than I expected, but you know what? I'll just uh, tack that on to uh, Battle Network 5, maybe. But yes, with that said, everyone. Yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the show. Holy shit, that was a good game. Outstanding fucking game. All right. Uh, yeah, shout out to... Uh, shout out to Gamaza for picking this, by the way. This is Gamaza's pick. Gamaza picked all of the Somnium file streams, which they have been outrageous fun so far. But yes, with that said, everyone, uh, yeah, come back tomorrow. We're going to have our rematch in SRB2K wager match to see which anime we're stuck watching. That should be yeah, exciting. Yeah, Robin, you made oh. the watch of very angry. I will never forgive you. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, Real Pocket Whale. Appreciate it, dude. Cheers, Gamaza. Hell yeah. 
With that said, everyone, I'll see you tomorrow and have a good one. Peace.